There we go. And of course, mic check. One, two, one, two. Too legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's the boy me, Too Legit City, and we're live, and we're getting back into the oxygen not included. Y'all know what it is. Back into the Oni's. We're starting late today. We did a couple of extra crosswords to kickstart the stream, so that ate up a lot of our time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the nice little crosswords we did. But it is going to be time for, to, uh, for us to include the oxygen. Last time, if you guys didn't remember, we went to do the Sulfur Geyser Taming. And we had the geyser erupt on us. So as a result, there's sulfur gas everywhere, and it's kind of bad. So right now, we are waiting for, you know, the sulfur to kind of just evaporate and all that right now. And we're going to be trying to do our best with that. We're going to be crushing the gas very slowly down here. Just drop a magma. There's more magma there. There's a opening up top, opening on the side. So we're going to have to come back once this is cleared. So we'll let that do its thing for a while. Back to here, though, we were having some issues. Uh, we ran out of dirt, but then we got more dirt back because we were able to go to this planet and uh, mine out the dirt. All right, if we do have idleness, we will want to mine through as much as we can. And the reasoning is because we should be mining this. Technically, all that's mineable. And then we want to mine this because we want to get the resource and bring it home. So we got the pee water. That's doing its thing. We have the clean water down there that we're moving back home. There is pickled meal right there. And then we're bringing the dirt home. So we have 100 tons here. Let's start having him actually work so that he doesn't actually have to be idle anymore. Have some digging jobs. So we'll give him some mining jobs as well. And then he's going to likely try to mine this out over here as well. We'll do this. We won't mine out this chunk yet. Just to get some more dirt. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, from here, I could mine that. So that's kind of safe. And then this ladder is there. So we should be able to mine this out. Alright, they should be able to just handle it on that side. So we're sending the food back so that we could have this food right there. We do have a Sweetle back. And then there are some other things that we'll probably want to do today. So we'll likely want to go to this planet next for the metal. So I'm just going to go here and set up a uh, volcano. Uh, volcano a, uh, geyser, a geyser. A rocket platform. We need to set up the uh, geysers and then send it back. But then we need to land. So we need the rocket platform first. So there's going to be a lot of metal on there that we're going to want to try to get. But the uh, meteors means that I'll probably want to tame the hydrogen vent. It's kind of weird. But uh, that's going to be our power source, most likely. So there's going to be two guys that will tame. We're already on this planet. And then I, we might leave this one alone. There is some cool stuff there, like the uh, cool slush geyser. But the problem is, is that it's... I don't know if it's worth going here. We have water. Well, we can't use anything here. We're grabbing the water from the side, and we still have hot water. So, potentially, we might not need to do anything. Alright, so this was the one that we sent to the magma planet, so we need to go into here. So, we need to set up the rover. Make that out of steel. And then a trailblazer. Alright, and then we would want here, here, here. Just so that we could set it up to build this out. Let's set up the rocket interior. Nice. So this is built. Let's get the lead right there. Let's get the power. Just like that. So this shouldn't be connected just due to the type of design it is. That's an uh, output type. And then everything else should work. We do need some water. And then what we would need here. This would be a basic setup. So nothing too impressive. Alright. So that means I will want this connected. And then this is not connected to the intake. Okay, so that means there's no oxygen right now. Oh, this isn't connected either. That's why. So that's why this has no oxygen inside. It just hasn't been inputting. Oh, that's fine. We could deal with that. 
How come this one isn't inputting anymore? Uh, this should work. Is this not actually connected? Hmm. This should actually work. But none of the oxygen's coming out. Oh, it's because of this. We have a jam. I forgot that jams. That's why this was originally cut off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my bad. That's my bad. Alright, so now it gets oxygen. Should be a little bit better. Look at the steam. We have a lot of steam. Let's fill up both. 48, 60. Okay, we'll go up to the uh, left side one first. Alright, let's get that started. And then we will need to get a couple things here. First things first, we're going to need a bin. Second thing is a fridge. And for the most part, we could start telescoping. That's something we could try to do. To find the tear. Dude, someone's gonna build this. Yeah, we're not we don't need to remove the ladders yet. I'll probably want to put the telescope here. It sounds a little bit weird, but I think it does work out. And then How come this is a vacuum? Oh, there's no power here, so all the gas just comes out. Oh no, I didn't put a vent, so it goes straight to storage. That's what I needed. There we go. I don't have to connect that yet, because technically we do want to fill up this rocket with a little bit of oxygen first. What are you doing inside? Grounded, you happen to want to sleep inside, Matikso? Come on, man. Oh, did someone take your bed? No, we have we have extra beds. There's some unassigned ones, too. Feels bad. Take the refined metal. Glossy and Drekos are fine. There's a little bit of a gas issue here still. It wouldn't be too bad. And we're cooling this down. Yeah. Yeah, so far this is handling it. Let them handle that. The new ranch is looking pretty good. So we wanted to make the kitchen over here. Oh, I, I need to remove all the eggs. Oh, that's right. Uh... Dude, that's all the eggs, actually. So there's a problem with that. <laughs> I don't know how we want to move all the eggs out. That's technically a hassle, dude. Ah, uh, snap. Uh, how many eggs is that? We could count, right? 48 eggs. Each egg is... So it's 100 kilograms, right? Because it's 96. All right, so we have a strap for that, I guess. Uh, it is shipping loader. This is going to be mad jank. Hopefully, though, this works. So we're going to sweep to the loader and then deconstruct the loader. So then all the eggs are in the room. That way, these hatches get taken care of. And I think that's good for us. All right. So steam is backed up as expected. Let's empty this out to this side. I clicked here. There we go. All right, goes backward, should be fine. Heat stroke. It's getting close, but it's not at 70 degrees. And that's actually the danger zone. Once it's 70 or higher, we have to worry about that. There's also the water here I should probably get rid of, because we're probably not going to use any more flash forward stuff. And the water's jammed, classic. Uh, so I do want to remove that water then. Can we mop this? We cannot. Oh, we can. Only off of that side. Alright, we could start mopping that, get that situated. And then I'll probably want to bop the diamonds. Yeah, that's something we'll probably want to do. And I can't reach that. Oof. We gotta build a ladder to remove the ladder. Okay, so how much plastic are we actually at? 
Can we replace our ladders yet? Let's see, let's see. 1900. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. And then, oh, dude, we have so much food. This is actually really wild. Uh, maybe we don't need to do the critter ranching for now. <laughs> Eight, eight, seven, eight. Sweep only, and we're gonna do critter eggs. And then this has to be max priority. Yeah, we'll do it like that. This hatch needs to be moved inside. And that should be okay. So the heat source down here is because of the water pool. Also probably because of this. Yeah, this water is also at 40 degrees, so it's not a good thing. So realistically, I got to stop absorbing the water. But then here, I think we're, we're trying to make copper. Just so that we don't overuse some of the hot water. 58, 63, yep, 42. A lot of the water is hot. A lot of the water is hot. That's going to be a fun time. All right. Got to move the eggs. Got to move the critter. It's going to get triggered. He's going to get relocated, maybe. All right. We're going to lower this to priority one. So they'll only do it if they have nothing else to do. And I think that'll be okay for now. All right. We could actually start doing the water pump right here just to clean it up. This is good. This is releasing here, which is amazing. All right, so we need to do a preemptive launch here to sh charge the battery. And then we need power on that one as well. Funny enough. So this is going into storage, just using up some of the cold water right there. Okay, so this is Rabsco. Didn't die last time. You didn't die, man. You did good. So we're just going to launch. And the goal is literally just to charge the battery for a little bit. He got it. He got it. Damn, look at that steam just fill up everywhere. So you want to go to here so that you could generate power and then you could always base at any time. So that's nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, we're actually able to mop up this water. Impressive. Let's do that then because we have the double ladder set up. Probably want to sweep up the items here. move the water so that's easier to uh, have nothing on the ledge all right so now what should we do i guess we do want to get the great hall and kitchen cobble today i want to do like a weird kind of a kitchen setup the problem with the kitchen setup that i want to do is we can't hold anything that's raw and then this is going to be indefinite food so the food in here never rots so we'll never actually put anything that uh rots in here so that we can make storage space that way we have uh, space for the other foods that makes more sense I think alright so looking at our food nutrient bars muck root pickled meal and barbecue uh, let's see so I wanted to do a spice grinder setup here So I've never built a kitchen before. What do we need for this? Cooking station, a fridge, and no mess table. Okay. So they want a proper fridge. Oh, I forgot to bring them home. My bad. Pips in the barracks. Yeah, they're just there because they're little cutie pies. Plus 10 decor. 
realistically, I just wanted to put them in a room that wasn't this room so they don't get cramped. And they're still cramped. <laughs> I need to move these little sweetos, to be honest. Alright, those are two sweeto babies. Torvac, welcome in though. I see you over there. And then... No one has swept. Oh, it's because the doors are locked. That's why. Wait, no one could do this? Because there's no receptacle? Aw, oh, come on. Is that actually a thing in this? So that you actually can't put that in the loader? I just want to move all the eggs here with sweep commands into this room. Alright, it is what it is. Alright, so let's make our kitchen. So, we want to effectively only use spice grinder on select food types. And... Oh... This, this would work. This would be the jankest design known to man, but I think this might work. We are now going to be banning barbecue. And then... Uh, how would this work? The spice binder being here doesn't really matter, to be honest. I should have the food near the front, but at the same time, food elsewhere is also okay. Um, and I will be using fridges. That sounds weird, but I, I think you have to if you use the spice grinder with the design. Alright, so let's argue it's going to be like this. We're not going to dehydrate. I'll probably not need high tier food as well. We might need more dupe, so having this is fine. And then we will have... Fridges here. And I think it will be okay. And then we were going to need freshening spice. Oh, we're going to need salt for that. And then we're going to do BBQ. All right. Grilling to skill. This is going to be Lord of Heaven. Dude, he's leveling up his cooking skill. We're going to change his hat too. Gonna get the grill two hat. I understand that you need the fridge in there, but you'd save them leaving the power. No, no, no. To use the spice grinder to benefit maximally from fresh inner spice, you need the fridge. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all that is. No one? Okay, there it is. People are actually moving the eggs now. Let's go. I could connect it, but I didn't, I didn't think we needed to. Someone got sunburned. Yeah, heat stroke. I am having them mine open the oil biome, and it's around 65 degrees, 67 degrees, which is right at the level where your dupes get burned, 69. So yeah, I'm just making them do something they shouldn't be doing. It's technically my fault. <laughs> That's my bad, man, my bad. We'll add some cold water soon. We'll do that, we'll do that. Looks like we still need the cold water here to really uh, soak up the heat. And it looks like, do we have any more ice? We are out of ice, unfortunately. You know what I hate? Sour gas boilers. I did so much prep in sandbox and then I built it and it messes up. Back to the drawing board. Sour boil sour gas boilers? Ah oh, man, they're horrible. There's there's a weird thing about them that I think I don't know if they could be fixed right now. 
So the problem I run into with the sour gas boiler is that at the moment, uh, from what I understand, the game, when they have the doors automate, the mechanized airlocks, I don't know if they fixed it, but the mechanized airlocks sometimes have a glitch where they stay closed, even though they're open like this, so that heat transfer still occurs. That is what broke a lot of my door builds. A lot of my door builds have had that problem where my geothermal, sour gas, petroleum boilers, they will accidentally add too much heat sometimes because of that. I've seen it happen, so I know that's exactly what it is. But yeah, bad slayer. Sour gas, that's tough stuff. Everything has to go right when you have something like that. Everything has to go right. Looks like there's not... Oh, there's a lot of water right here. Uh... How can I open this up? I don't think I can, right? This is a lot of water. I'm just trying to push it through. I'll probably have to bop this tile. And then we can't build this. Once it works though, it's so fun. Yeah, because you have so much power. <laughs> you have so much power, and then the fuel that you're feeding it in is like negative 100 degrees. It's so good. <laughs> it really is. Alright, so the guy peed his pants because I forgot to add toilet water. That's my bad. Alright, so we're going to need some power here. Okay, uh, for the time being, I guess, since it does work, we are going to just run the uh, wheel right here. It's a very simple setup for the power. We're just doing this for now. We'll probably change that up eventually. I just want to get this rolling. So we'll be able to cook, do the BBQ stuff. Nice, nice. And then I'll probably want bins right here for uh, the spice grinder. I consider it. Have all the meal life seeds somewhere. Maybe the salt too. And then we have a lot of meal life seeds because we are growing that, so it should be fine. All right, so now we need our meal hall that's going to be right here. Uh, we have ladders on the outside, but I don't want to have two rooms. Oh, you do, because it's 68. Okay, that's fine. We could do two rooms. So this usually means we will use a phone setup. What are the bonuses for a kitchen again? Uh, the kitchen bonus is just to use this building, the spice grinder. There's actually no bonus. If you're looking for like a cook speed buff or anything like that, there's no actual incentive outside of using the building. So there's technically no bonus. Yeah, it sucks. It's not like building a lab that gives you the lab workspace bonus. That's actually worth it right and it doesn't give you any morale or anything either so it's like it's even compared to something like a bathroom it's not that good but you know gotta use it for the spice grinder it is what it is all right so we're gonna run a left to right with the phones and then we're gonna do a two level setup so 15 three 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 Oh, that doesn't work. I like that design though. Three in the middle. Five in the middle. We'll do it like that. So this is what? 1122? We might use a third floor then if we have to. Which I don't mind. Yeah, third floor right there for more uh, meal halls. Perfectly fine. We'll put the door there just to set that up. And then we do have reed fiber now, so we use the furniture. So we'll probably want uh, this one to be a three. We'll just do the single portrait for now. Don't want to overuse all my reed fiber. 
should be okay. All right, gonna get the meal hall set up. Now back to here. This is a little warm, but we're fine. I'm doing a new run in a swamp biome. I forget how easy it is when you don't need oxygen production early. <laughs> Yo, man. It'd be like that sometimes, man. Each map has its challenges. It's kind of like how in uh, Rhyme, the start is kind of hard to get food situated. But once you get food situated on that map, the end game is very easy. Some maps are difficult beginning, harder end, or harder beginning, difficult end, right? Just map balance. But yo man, swamp start. Is that the warm swamp or the cold swamp? There's two swamps, right? There's the uh, cold swamp where it's like close to zero everywhere. And I think there is a warmer one, right? I'm not sure. I think the difference might be if you get slugs or not. In the cold swamp, you might not get slugs, but I think in the warm one, you does, or vice versa. I like using a glass hanging pot, but I didn't know if you had joyous seeds. Oh, I do. I have them because I'm going through the uh, oil biome. So we randomly get joyous. My oil biome went up to here. You could see the outline, actually. So this was in the oil biome, right? Oil res. So I'm literally just trimming down. We get joys every so often, though. Oh, you have slugs? Nice. Okay, I, I, I might be wrong then. It might be the warm one that's get it. Because I thought one of them doesn't get slugs. And only the other one does. I might be wrong, though. Finish my run on the first planet. Need to try the other ones? Oh, yeah. The other ones are going to be a test to see if you really did learn. Because I, I feel like you could generate strats for specifically the first uh, planetoid. But then if you play the other ones, they're going to really try to push it to the limit. Hey, man, can you really do what you say you got to do? All right, looks like we want the ice machine again, boys. Feels bad. Looks like we got to make sure we get some ice. And 314. All right, so we need water. Okay, we have water. All right, we have water. It's just a little bit warm where it's getting there. And then I still need to filter out water here. Okay. Uh, that means I will have to do the dump. All right. We'll also use this water to soak the area so we could use thinner uh, wire like this. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We'll do it like this. Speed this up. All right, how's food on the other side? 4,000 kcals. I wouldn't mind giving them some more. We'll set that up right now. This is unlocked. 15 pickled meal. Let's go. All right, so this has to be made. There's no door permissions on that. This does hit the battery, so this is fine to run. All right, we're finally going to get a meal hall, dude. And then we're going to do a couple things here. Uh, next to the... We'll do it like that. And then we'll make it, uh, uniform, I think. Not gonna power the phones yet. We will, though. We will. Should be fine, should be fine. Gonna wait for the lead over there. And then this water. Uh, I could use this cold water to feed into this. Oh, that would be pretty good. That would be really good, actually. Because if I do that, this is cold water warming up. I don't need to do it, but it's kind of nice to use that as a water source potentially. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this water source at uh, 17 degrees. This is water coming in from the second planet that's uh, pretty cold. So we're using that, oh, yeah, the water's jamming. I need to start moving it. So that's gonna be right here. So when this move, that goes in, and then this is able to move again, nice. All right, and what does that do? That goes into the pipe and we spill it out right here. Let's trim these two layers, let the lead stay, and then it's absorbing a lot of the heat. 
I'm interested in Rhyme and the Volcano ones. I really fear the Volcano one. I don't know why my heat management is good enough. You want to know why? Because the Volcano map has this. They'll put a geyser inside the pool of magma. And then I got bopped, so then I have to wait it out. <laughs> I was like, yo man, we need to get the sulfur geyser. Let's go tap it. Oh, it erupted after we removed the magma? Aw, oh, snap, and then it got boiled. So now we're just letting it, you know, air out. It'd be like that sometimes, man. That's why it's uh, scary times. <laughs> No matter how good your management skills are, man, one bad mistake or mistimed uh, setup, and it's all over. So we once once it self vacuums, we're gonna go back and you know grab the sulfur, but we have to leave that alone for a while. Good news is is that we liquid lock that so that we can't have more gas coming in to do a heat exchange. We also did some uh, insulated lining so that it doesn't actually heat up the area too bad, and then hopefully. All the gases, while it's getting thin, needs to actually thin out to one extra unit of measurement, MGs to MCGs, before it vacuums. But once it does get to that point, though, we'll be able to go back. And it's properly sealed this time, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. But yeah, you gotta watch out for that. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. Could fly over and build the solars. That's a hundred percent true. We could fly over and build the solars. You ain't wrong. Oh, and then this is filled. Okay. Oh. Oh man. You hit my pump. That's rude. All right. The oxygen is still in. This is filled up. I still need to do the outside. This is 4K. Okay. How much is in storage? 800? Okay, this is good. This guy's done. We're pumping all to here now. Uh, yeah, that's true. We could grab the glass setup. Wait, what happened to my glass? Wait, what happened to my glass? I put glass in here. Oh, it's in here. Oh my god. It was in here. I was like, where's my glass? It's actually inside the bin. I just couldn't tell. <laughs> Technically, that's true. We could go in and start setting up the solar panels. 100%, yeah. That could be something we could set up. Uh, we're going to go buy for this one first, though. So, this one, we're going to need 2,000. And we're going to put Igneous. We're going to need that. 2,000 limits. We're going to put this to 10, but we're not going to put anything inside. We need to actually deliver some suits. This one is going to be landing on the Metal Volcano Planet. And then we need to build a rocket platform so that we could stop by. Only problem with that is that there is meteor showers here. So part of me is a little bit worried. There is kind of a strat to that. But, you know, it's going to be kind of a pain. All right, so these are going to be empty. These are going to be fine. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Briar seeds. I'm going to take the sands. Oh, wait a second. I don't have salt here. This is... Actual salt, not table salt. Okay. So that means these guys need to bring it back. Uh, let's not do dirt. Let's do salt. We need that to do the, uh, yeah, with 1,200. It's not bad. All right. The water isn't dripping down from here, so this is probably safe to remove. Salt at the bottom. Yeah, we're going to have to go through this area and start mining all the salt. Mine this out for the salt. going to have to remove the door. We're no longer scooping up dirt. And then we need to start setting the salt back so we can preserve the barbecue. Uh, okay, so I could climb up. Technically, that should be safe. We'll mine that. 
and we'll let that be the start. And then if we open this, oxygen should be coming in, which might be easier. All right, it should be fine. When are you planning to build interplanetary shipping? Uh, on this planet? So we, we would have to set up interplanetary shipping on the other planets. So they're going to be sending back to the home planet. So the home setup is very easy. All you need to set up is something called interplanetary targeting beacon. Do I have that? I don't think I do. Oh, we need plastic tech. That's why. Yeah, right here. I need plastic tech. So that's what we need for the shipping. And then while all we have to do at home is set this up on the other planets, we'll have to set up a rad bolt generator setup with power and then the interplanetary launcher. So the setting up the launcher won't be after we actually tame a geyser on the other planets. I was wondering why my buster shot cannons were disappearing. I had to build them three times before I realized my cooling was not hooked up and it was melting. What? Yo, yeah, man. Things in a vacuum would melt themselves. Very common. It's very common. You gotta watch out for that, Torvac. That is what you call a common occurrence. Wait, we're good inside? Alright, so we need to get bathroom water. Set that up, and then let's get this in. Alright, should be good all to the first one. And then... 121. That is eight tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm actually going to top off my uh, rocket engine then, just in case. They're made of gold and lead, so it happened quick. Oh, yeah. Gold will do that. Low melting point. Lead's even faster. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that'd do it, man. That would do it. You gotta watch out for that. Alright, so now that we're sending back salt. Three kilograms and point ten percent of a seed per BBQ. Alright, and then we want BBQ not in here. We want BBQ in these storages. Right here. Uh, spiced food only, BBQ. This is... Oh, and then this is 9. And then this is 9, BBQ. I wish you had unspiced. And then this is gonna be meat. And then this is gonna be BBQ forever. We won't have anything else. The other one can be idle. We'll push this to 9 as well. Then we have this. We have pickled meal is forever as a secondary. All right, we could have the second. Do we have one cook, two cooks? I have one cook. Oh, no, we have two cooks. Priest and Lord of Heaven. Okay. So priest doesn't have cooking skill. That's why. There we go. All right, pickled meal one forever on that one. We could do that. And then... Zero deconstruct. There we go. Should be fine. No researchers assigned. Missing research station. Oh, that's because we don't have the plastic. Okay. We'll probably want to grab that. And then... I guess because we can do this without skill. We'll just do that. And then put a little bit of plastic inside. Right? And then, of course, this means we need power. And then this also means potentially a telescope. Uh, we'll have this here. We just won't plug it in because I want to do data banks instead. All right, that's going to be that guy. BBQ forever. It sounds delicious, man. Only way to do it. What's going on, TJ? Welcome in. Welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. How is the Sundays, man? The day of rest. Hopefully the day is going well, man. But what's good, TJ? Welcome in. Matik, so I see you over there as well. Timo? Hope you're having a good Sunday as well. Thank you guys for tuning in today, man. Shoutouts to y'all, the people of chat. Dude, my dragos need a hatch, though, man. My mule wood over here needs some help. 
All right, so salt has gone up to seven tons. Great, so we didn't have any problems with that. Uh, there's potentially a thing I might want to do here, though. You know what I would like to have in this game? That I've seen in another game? I would love to be able to set up the building before it's built. I would love to have that feature. Because it's kind of like how you could put a blueprint down, right? I want to make it so that when it's built, it's already selected to store a specific item. There is no configuration for this object. Yeah, configure the settings. Being able to do that during blueprint phase. I could see that being very convenient. Because you could set it up and then, you know, you don't actually have to remember that when it finishes, you're going to have to set it up again, right? Because that's what happens a lot. You build a blueprint and then you leave it alone because you have to wait for it. And then you're looking at a, a different area. And then as that happens, you forget to set this. And then sometimes that might become, you know, a resource loss because you forget to turn it off. It overflows the liquid lock if it's a bottle empty, you know, whatever it is. And it's like, sometimes, man, you wish you could set it like, uh, like for the storage bin. That way they could move the bleach stone in my case without even having to think about it. <laughs> so I want to move the bleach stone so we stop generating chlorine. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Clay, if you're listening, man. That would be amazing. A lot of us would love that. Mule. Oh, he's trying to do that for here. All right. And then we moved the kitchen from the side. Nice, nice. Can't be mad. Can't be mad. All right. So we dripped out a lot of water. That should be all we should drip out. This is a lot of water. 30 degrees. And the layer below is already at 40, 50, 60. Nice. So we absorbed a good amount of heat already. Oh, the water on the right side is a lot hotter than the water on the left side. All right, we'll probably... Hey, Ribo, Ribu, underscore, coming in with the tier one. Thanks so much for the tier one. Subscribe. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emoji 20 dice and free viewing. Yo, man, thank you so much for the support. Hope you enjoy that too legit sub badge. But yo, enjoy the mob emotes. The little babies would say something, but he's asleep. Thank you, thank you, though, for the support. Am I saying that name right as well? Ribu? Ribu? Double B? Oh, someone's going to pick up the meal ice. All right, we locked the door for that reason. All right, we have food on the other side now. Three people. Oh, someone was inside here. All right, we got the toilet. I need 2,000 plastic here. And then we can start doing the data lab. This has got to be on forever. Yo, dog, I'm going to need you to go ahead and include some oxygen. Zero dragon. Oh, dude. You know what just reminds me? Uh, Your name reminded me about the bet I had with Lord of Heaven. Lord of Heaven, man. Are you there? Do you remember what you told me, man? I did it, dude. I didn't, I didn't forget. I didn't forget, man. I got this here, and I remember what I said. Hi, hi, how are you? Is it Ribu or Ribbo? The double O's, man. I actually don't know which O sound it is. Ribu? Ribbo? Ribbo? Ribbo. Ah, we got you. Can I just call you Bo? I always wanted a homie I, that's name was Bo. Only way to do it, boys. All right, I don't think Lord of Heaven's here, so he doesn't have to know. It's fine. We 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 did the objective he wanted us. Toilet overflow for the uh, spawn water. We got it. We got it. All right, we let the water chill. We'll eventually have to mop this up. This is kind of warm already, so we'll probably want to mop up on this side. So let me dig two tiles here. Hey, oh, he went to bed earlier. Oh, he did? Could you fly over and build the solars? That was the last thing I saw. He might be gone. Feels bad. I see a bow. Appreciate it. All right, are we ready? We is. Nice. All right, let's put the pickled mule in here. 
We're gonna put 10 kgs, and this is gonna be our space food to fly to this planet so that we can actually see how the composition looks like and then set up a platform. So we're gonna do Operation Space Mission right now. And then food still goes up. All right, so we're gonna make it so that they can't eat the food that are imperishable so that they don't eat the good food. I want them to eat the pickled meal. And then no meat, no BBQ. We are trying to save the BBQ. All right, so this one, oh, look at that spice crank. Ah, look at this, refrigerated, normal atmosphere, and then spices. So when you spice food, regardless of the type of food it is, and if you use the freshener spice, which is what I'm using, if you spice the food and you put it in the fridge, it never rots. That's actually kind of nice. You see that? Net change is 0%. So there is a second strat to this. If we put the fridge in CO2, I think that means that the food generates freshness. <laughs> that sounds mad jank. But we're going to try that. And I think the better thing to do is move the wheel to the back. We'll try to set that up. And then I think we'll try to put the food here. That probably also means... Yeah, I gotta get rid of this right here. I gotta change how this is gonna be done. So we don't have power, right? Back at home yet. We don't have power. Uh, so this has seal to, I mean, technically water is power, right? 128 kilograms right here. And then another thing is that this is not a lot of heat. So how much power is this? 480. This is 1080. So we could actually put... We could put all three of these on one line. And have that be sealed too. Oh, dude, I could do that here. I could actually do that here. Uh, I think I will. It's just that setting this up and cooling this might be a little bit of a problem. These warts are up top. There's also this setup that we had outside. What's going on, Dudezio? Welcome in. How are you? Hello, hello. I see you over there, man. What's good? I guess we could try to use this line and try to extend it. I basically want to use coal power a little bit more because we have a hatch ranch. So coal is not a problem. We'll always have coal. All right, so I think I know what we'll have to do. First things first, we're gonna replace the suit lines and then we're gonna change this line. I think this is correct, how we wanna do it. We'll do it like that. And then most likely the design of choice is going to be straight down, straight out. So we could touch this. Uh, we will also likely have this come straight down this way. Because I want to attach the kitchen to the bottom lines. So this suit line gets attached. And then I do also want this suit line. So we're going to go slightly like this. And then we need to bring the line to here. Alright, so let's find this out. Let's cancel that. And then I probably want a separate setup. Which is, which is okay. We save a lot of wheel labor that way. So for the most part, I don't think I need more than one because this is not a lot of power. Activity is not that, not that good. 
Don't ask. I thought I, I could build some wild planting pips, but I swear waiting for the uh, these guys to plant is so frustrating. Oh man, the the pips have a lot of obscure rules, and it's like it's 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 really frustrating sometimes if you don't know every rule. They have this thing where if you have a low mass CO two bubble like this, right, twenty grams, because plants require a pressure level above one hundred and fifty the dupes breathing out the co2 bubbles like this will bop your your pips from planting it's really weird it makes sense because they just basically can't plant in that tile and then there's a lot of extra rules there's the plus minus 30 degree rule i think it's 15 it might be 30. there is the vacuum rule that breaks the other rules like it contradicts itself and then there's the well you know about the plant spacing rule the five five six three plant range but yeah, outside of that, pathing, and then you have to core plants that actually bop that. <laughs> but yeah, that stuff can be frustrating, man. That can be frustrating. Oh, you have the pip overlay mod. Oh wow, then you still had problem. That's tough. When I when I do pip planning, I I really very rarely have problems with them. They usually are pretty good, uh, pretty good about it, to be honest. There is some like max path thing too. Like if it's too far from the seed, they just won't plant it. But yeah, if you got the mod, then actually it should tell you everything. That's tough though. And you're still having a, a long time wait for that. Feels bad, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Oh, so it's here. Wow, uh, that would be perfect. I think ideally I'm going to want this two tile thick though. Yeah, all right. So with that, what we'll do is this setup. I'll make another battery and we'll do two. And then I think we'll try to get some ice and try to bop that or something. We could also try to use the radium pipe here to try to cool down the area. Just one segment, it's all we need. Right? One radium pipe segment and then have it go back in. Alright, let's build the ladder there. Then this would be like this. Uh, we won't put it in the wall because I want it exposed. There we go. But yo man, pit planning is tough. It's very, very time consuming when you're pit planting anything. And you're waiting longer for the food to be like good. <laughs> it's tough sometimes, man. This is seasoned. Aw, oh, come on. We do it like that then. I download overlay just to know if I do something wrong, but there is empty space, 10 wild pips, and they're walking around for one minute before actually planting. Sometimes they had animation to plant, but they didn't. That seems really weird. I think that you might be having memory leak issues. You might be having memory leak issues. Have you been playing Oni for a long time and you haven't actually closed the game in a while? That's one of the main culprits for memory leak issues, which causes calculations to take longer. Things might be, uh, you know, not working as intended. So you're having to watch the pips for 10 minutes. That's more than a cycle. That's really weird. There might be some weird shenanigans going on with the game, like not really calculating properly. So I have to watch out for that. If you didn't know, playing Oni on 3x speed for 4 hours or higher can cause that memory leak issue to occur. 
Simulating the game on 3x speed accumulates, um, it's not really like packet loss, but it's kind of like that. And it would effectively yeah, cause some problems with that. Nice. Alright, so I don't think we need to make the barbecue fresh. We could try. I think we could try to like min-max that with like a healthy bin. And then we put the uh, non-healthy bins in the back. That could work. Ooh, yeah, we'll put it in the back right here too. Sometimes I do 3x for 6 hours. Yeah, that's going to cause a lot of memory leak issues. So you'll have weird things happen, like... Uh, sometimes you'll have a random liquid lock like this. Get pushed down by a gas. That should never happen in the game. Right? So, like, if a liquid lock has gas spawn on it, and then the liquid pushes up on the other side, that only occurs in a memory leak. Because otherwise, that should never happen. So, once you start seeing, like, weird interactions, that's what you need to... Uh... Oh, this is breaking! Oh, how long has it... Oh, dude, this is at 100 degrees. Oh, dude. I've been taking an L, dude, for the longest time. Goddamn. I forgot. We were pumping up the steam rocket. Alright, so are we good here, though? Water... Yep, yeah. alright, it's time, man. We're gonna be flying by. We have oxygen, we have food, we have toilet water, plastic, igneous rock. Everything should be nice. I just did over 70 water weed plants. Yeah. The, I'm just saying that the memory leak, if you did the 3x in 6 hours, is likely the reason why your pips are taking forever to plant. That's all I'm saying. And that if you save the game, quit the desktop, and play again, it should try to speed that up. Not try, it should speed that up. Uh... Aw, oh, dude, they're gonna get stuck. Okay, didn't get stuck, let's go. Alright. I hope this doesn't have too much problems. Sulfur, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get right now. I'm trying to tame the sulfur geyser because it's one of the few geysers that gives you good food. Sulfur leads directly into grub fruit. So grub grubs, uh, no, grub fruit, grub fruit, this fruit. This food could become preserves, which has the same stats as barbecue, except better. Um, it gives you the same amount of morale as barbecue, but it spoils in 32 cycles instead of four. Barbecue spoils in four cycles, so it's a better version of barbecue. So, the grub fruit plant only needs uh, to be fertilized by sulfur, right? Sulfur, 10 kg per cycle, and then you could actually, uh, well, no, you get the regular one first. And then you evolve it with the Sweetle. These guys also eat Sulfur. So Sulfur is going to be that exclusive chain of critters and food types. Hopefully that makes sense. Alright, so this is going to be Spiced Sweet. And then we're going to do 8877. Seven. That should work. But in my case, if I have a kitchen in Hydrogen minus 30, my food will never spoil, right? Uh, hydrogen minus 30, food never spoils. Yes. Hydrogen is sterile, and if it's negative 30 and never drops, your food should also be deep freeze. So unless something goes wrong with your build, it should be fine. That's really all it is, keeping it stable. <laughs> Otherwise, I think you'll be okay. By the way, that's also why I was working on Sour Gas, since one of my, uh, one of the random byproducts is Sulfur. Ah, yes. Six mil K-Cow? Oh, you good then, man. You good. 
Now, you could actually have all that KCAL go bad if your, if your hydrogen doesn't get cooled anymore. But if you're cooling it, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, so the pickled meal is going into the dump storage still, and I'm fine with that. Let's take the spiced tofu. Did we get the launch? He's going to be there in about 1.7. Okay. This is going to be meal wood. I'm cooling my ethanol uh, loop in... Uh, oh, I see you. Yo, man, you good then. You good. You got that ethanol loop? That's actually great. So I am thinking about moving this to this side because it makes more sense because of the kitchen. The only problem is, is that that means I'll have to use up this space, which isn't good. It makes more sense to use it in this space, though. Which, I guess we could just put it next to it. That's technically not bad. Okay. Uh, there's nothing pumping up CO2 here, right? Because I'm doing that design. Let's do no reds. So this means most of my CO2 is here. But we have the canal right now. Okay. We do have the power line. And I want it to do this. So that means I probably want to do that. That. And then for the design, I want to do that. So this should be, there we go, 95, 55. And then we do that, that, okay. Construction nine, we go with these. We go with the bottom set. And then after we're done with that, we could deconstruct the rest and uh, get this on a power line. That's going to be nice because we're not going to have to run the wheel. All right, once we do that, I do want to do a couple other things. I don't want this here. And I think we're going to try to upgrade to the other design. So the problem with that is we have space right here that we're going to have to fill in. I don't want anything inside, so we have to do this. I probably want two, because we do have a good amount of food. I don't plan on freshening spice, the pickled meal lines, to be honest. It's only just going to be BBQ that will do that for it. 99%. All right. Any use for chlorine geysers, or should I break them? And I got at turn 60. Uh, the only thing that really benefits you is if you're trying to feed puffs so that you could get meat from the squeaky puffs. If you really want to ranch them, it's easier now with the new uh, critter drop off, critter pickup buildings. Outside of that, you could do. Yeah, you really don't got much. You could remove germs off of your toilet water, remove germs off of various things in the game, try to make bleach stone so that you could do geotuning. Realistically, though, once you have chlorine, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good to have chlorine a lot of the times. It doesn't benefit you enough. Like, really anything. Yeah, realistically, the, the most you would do with the chlorine geyser is dash assault vine. The dash assault vine gives you salt at the cost of sand. And it consumes chlorine gas 6 grams per second. The only problem is, is that it's 50 degrees top end temperature and chlorine top end is at 60. So the temperature is kind of off, but it's, it's somewhat okay. This guy opening a McDonald's. It's time, man. McDudzios. The gassy moves. That's another one. Liquid chlorine for gassy move for gas grass. But realistically, Chlorine is kind of an endeavor because it's like a lot of the things you get from that isn't really that great. And it's an endeavor because it's like it's a process to actually make it in a state that you could use it for other things. 
Like, you would have to make a puff ranch. You're going to have to make a, you know, germ removal setup. You have to liquefy the chlorine. You got to do something for bleach stone, right? It's not... Yeah, ask away. Ask away. Oh, someone's starving. Aw, oh, snap. Look at the calories. Matixo. Is there a schedule problem, man? Oh, dude. Matixo, man, I'm sorry, dude. This guy has been on a all-day work schedule. This guy has been living the American life. I'm sorry, man. But you know what, dude? Back to the gulag. He's going to continue that life. <laughs> Matixo. Triple shift. Yeah, man. Only way to do it now. We save you, man. We'll save you. All right. We're going to make the new Matixo shift, boys. So this is going to be here. Bedtime. Bath time. Alright, man. You get the new shift. You, 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 you. It's five. This is eight. This is six. Alright, we'll do it like that. Eight, eight, and then two here. See, you're gonna be fine, dude. Perfectly fine. Alright, can we move all these items here, man? I need another fridge skin, dude. Thug life. This guy was about to unionize. Aw, snap. Got him, boys. I'm trying to get the achievement with the bees, but I'm wondered if there's something wrong. Am I going to lose opportunity? Uh, it used to be a lot easier because the AI used to get uh, botched by door pathing so one of the things in the game was you were used to able to build pneumatic doors right because i have bees too so the the old strat was you could just dig a tunnel right you, you go around and then right underneath you just build a door and then you would dig out from the door right and then while you're in the door you build a new door and then while you're in the door you build a new door and then you wall up the beehive so that there's no bees inside and then you just walk in and do the thing that used to be the strat they now sting you through the doors they got the wall hacks so you got to do it the proper way the proper way is actually really easy if you have the geyser next to it and it's not actually liquid the proper way actually if you didn't know click on the database uh right here uh let's see oh does he not actually say the strat right here wow they don't actually say the strat so the strat if you didn't know yeah they sleep in co2 so if you fill up the room with co2 they're gonna be asleep and i think it's a timer uh no no it's not a timer they will actually consume the gas so if the gas runs out they wake up so if you have a geyser like this next to the bees, it's automatic. You could just get it. Since chlorine's going to be heavier than uh, lighter than CO2, it's going to float to the top. And they'll be fine. They'll be sleeping on the ground anyways. The only thing you're worried about is if you have liquid here. Because if they fall asleep in the liquid, they're technically not in CO2. And then they wake up and then fall asleep again. So there might be some weird shenanigans with that. But outside of that, CO2 should, you know, save you. Point eight. Uh, are you having food issues? No, he's eating. Should be good. All right, we'll set this up. We'll wait for that. All right, we got the wires. Nice. Nice. So we got to do the empty pipe strat here. Uh, we need to use the CO2 to release it here so that we could have the CO2 tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that makes so much more sense. It should be like this. Spiced food night. Yeah. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's put regular tiles here. 
I'm worried because these buildings are hot. That might be a problem later. Last question, do you have some good advice for this grub animal? Because I want to put them in any wild farm. I don't know how to make a proper design for that. Uh, the proper design is... So, first things first. You have a farm like this then, right? That means you have an open farm. Meaning that if you hit room overlay, you have your entire planet in the room size calculation. And that's your problem. You can't drop off anything in that once your critter count goes over the maximum. Because, well, the game just doesn't allow you. If that's your problem, uh, the solution's pretty simple. You would do something known as a critter drop. Do you know what that is? Critter drop setup? I could show you an example by making it, but uh, if you do know what that is, it saves us some time. Yes, you know, yeah. So you would just do a critter drop setup on top of the farm. Yeah, closed doors, yep. So you would just drop them on top, and then you would have to make your farm uh, relayed out. So grub grubs are going to be like dupes. They could climb up and down. This is typically going to be the pattern. Like this, right? Plants are two tiles tall. So then this is going to be your pattern, right? That way your grub grubs can climb up and down. And they'll be able to do every level. So you could do your critter drop like right here. Uh, yeah, it'd be like that. But I have wild farms of five tall. Ooh, you could add regular tiles. Right? Because if you're doing farm tiles, do you do three? Or are you doing stagger? There's two patterns for the pips. You're doing three at three by three. So you're doing this design. That's actually the best. Because you could technically do this. And then it would be open like that. So you have five tile wide rooms. This would typically be your pattern. Your center is where you climb. Your non tiles. Your insulated are your planet plants. This would typically be your pattern. Now, because of the pattern, right, it's probably going to look like this. So every one of these, you could add this shape in the middle if you really want, because they climb up 3-1 like that. So you could either just have one in the middle or just, uh, you know, do it on every shape. It's up to you at that point. But then that would mean that you would have to have the rooms be okay with the gas spread. So, you know, hoping it's the same plants. Because if you have sleet weed and then meal lice on different levels, it's not going to work, man. <laughs> it's going to be uh, the meal what's, the meal what might be too cold or the sleet weed might be too hot. Probably be a bad time either way. All right, so we have enough here. Let's do that. Let's bop this. Let's bop this. We should be fine. Let's move the CO2 to here. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do this yet. Because I need a step down. Ah, we got it. We got it. This streamer dude is so kind. Damn, hips. <laughs> Only way to do it, Matik. So Only way to do it. All right, so we're going to get CO2 in here so that we could actually uh, unrot the food. That's such a weird thing to say because it's not proper English. We're going to unrot the food, boys. That doesn't sound like it makes sense. But this is a phenomenon in the game of owning. You could make your food that's uh, not ripe right. I mean, uh, that's rotten unrotten. And it sounds really jank. All right, so if I have the little grubs, I mean the bugs, if you ranch them, the green ones will be ranched also. So if they're going to die really fast without food. Uh, so that's the thing. You realistically shouldn't use them for anything else. You can't make them wild. You can't make them wild. And once they're tamed, they're tamed. They, they haven't added a, a mechanic in the game yet to make the critters wild. That would be an interesting mechanic to actually base 
the entire game off of that, if that would be a new DLC concept. Imagine that's going to be the new core mechanic. You could make your tame critters wild. That'd be tight. But uh, for the most part, that's not a thing. Uglarvis, I see you over there. Striped fridges are nice, man. Gotta have them. All right, so we're hoping for the CO2 to accumulate right here. That way, the food right here gets what's known as sterile environment. And look at the change per cycle. Positive 8%. This value goes up. It's at 82 right now. This will actually go up over time. So we're going to pay attention. That's at 82%. That's so jank. It's actually going to get uh, better. All right, then we're going to bop this. Hopefully we don't step down to do it. So make them farm them without being tamed? Or should I mix in sulfur rooms so that they could live? What do you think? Um, I've done both. So the problem is, is that it depends on how large your wild farm is. One thing you got to understand is how the grub grub mechanics work. They, they do the grub grub rub, which is the fertilizer buff, only if they have a good amount of calories. It's tied to the hunger levels, effectively. So if they haven't eaten recently, they're going to rub one to two plants. If they're actually good on calories and they aren't hungry, they're going to rub up to five. And if they're full, I think they rub up to eight. But it's tied to their hunger levels. So technically, it really depends on the size of your wild farm. Because if you have a large wild farm, you're going to want to feed them so that you can maximize how much they're rubbing. If you have a small farm, and you could actually just increase the amount of raw grub grubs you have, then don't feed them, right? Because you have enough to actually saturate your farm. It really depends on the situation. But that makes sense, right? Hopefully that makes sense. The striped fridges, man. Candy canes, baby. Only way to do it. All right, so we have food. They're doing their thing. This guy is going to be there in 70 seconds. Nice. Uh... We're running low on water soon. But then we did the water here, so we're doing good. Ah, right here. This never actually spilled out. So we got to do two more tiles. You got you got a new gas rest skin? Oh, dude, which one? Did you get the polka dot one? I got the polka dot one, man. Party dot gas. Building skins are pog in this game, man. Not gonna lie. All right, so this is ready. Uh, yeah, all right. We're going to make the power shift. This is going to be trims here, here. That's fine. Here, 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 here. Here, here. Battery's dead. We bop the wheels. That's not needed. Um, Technically, I'll connect that, but we're going to bop everything here. And then it's this line, because this doesn't have to be part of that line anymore. All right, let's connect everything. So now we have this line here, here, here. That's connected here, here. That's disconnected. That works. We go there. That works. And then we want to remove this, that. We're going to remove this and the battery and wheels. This is gone. The small wires are gone as well. And then this lead wire is gone. And then we could bop this as well. We don't need the CO2 anymore. Nice, nice. The solid green one. Oh, he got the green, green pea. I see you over there. This guy got the jolly green giant. Same skin for the bins. Oh, we got the holiday stripe skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was part of the Christmas theme. I didn't get that, though, sadly. Is it necessary to build a spawn? It depends on a lot of things. 90% of the time you need it. Because realistically, you're always going to run out of oxygen. There is some cases where you could argue you could try to tame a geyser and it gives you the oxygen. It's just that typically it doesn't keep up with a large colony to get that set of geysers. And then it's like you're going to probably run out of like a resource for that, like sand. 
So while you could get away with it, with not building a spawn, that's only true if you don't really plan on playing that long. So if you have a long playthrough, right? Like I've done speed runs where I didn't build a spawn because I was able to just use the algae we have and beat it by the time. That's different, right? That's going to be a challenge run. Just use your algae. Don't build the spawn, save time. But for the most part, yeah, a little tough. A sweep could clean that water. What are we cleaning? What are we cleaning? I tamed a hot polluted oxygen vent and then uh, cool it for stinky air. Clay should give you global skin a lot so it could uh, feature all the skins. Oh, I see you with that. Yo, man, dude, they, they, they don't do that for even uh, oxygen included. I mean, not oxygen included. Don't starve. So I wouldn't imagine they would do that for this game. But yeah, it is advised to build a spawn. Oshkon, welcome in. I see you over there, though. Streamer privileges. I wish. I'm not even the biggest Oni streamer. If I was clearly the number one, I could might be able to ask them for something like that. But because I'm not, it's like, yeah, I'm not even going to chance it, man. <laughs> I'm the small streams right now, man. Small streams. Number one to me. Hey, shout out to you, Uglarvis. Appreciate you, man. Kind words, kind words. Oh, that's right. Uh, we were here. Nice. So then we have the surface. Oh, dude, it's all ice. Oh, dude, a puff is outside. Guys, we're going to take out the puff. Dude, you're going to give me all this wool for my without even being inside? Jesus Christ, this is a lot. Even in ice biomes, you don't get that much. Dude, Leo, coming in with the five stream streak. I see you over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Almost forgot about the stream after our break yesterday. Yo, but you made it, man. You made it. I think Alshkan's talking about the water under the farm tiles. Oh, you're talking about this. Uh, we're eventually going to bop the mealwood plants. <laughs> we're eventually going to bop the mealwood plants. Good eye, though. Sketchy. Good eye, good eye. I got three blocks of my ice biome. Yeah, it's a lot, right? The raw metal is sweet. All right, so we got to do the conquering of this planet. So we are going to land right next to the puff because this is really flat. So I like that. So the strat we have to do is... Oh, he's eating. Okay, let's let him finish eating. All right, he's going to be making databanks. Let's swap suits because that's what we need him to do. His name is Ravko. And then we got to deploy the rover. Rover is going to be here. All right, let's go. Got the plug slugs. We're going to kill the puff. This guy is being a menace to you. Look at his travel. This guy's path is insane. That's so much lag. Can you attack? No, the rover can't attack. Okay. Do you have a steam geyser tamed in this playthrough? I do not. At least not yet. I have not needed to tame steam for water yet, as we're not allowed to use any of the starter geysers, so the cool steam out of the question. And then we get a uh, polluted water vent here, although we have steam and cool steam here. I haven't really decided to tame that yet. But depending on which one, the uh, taming is going to be a little bit different. Cool steam, I did that on another playthrough with like a weird heat sink setup. That was probably a little bit too much power, though, to be honest. All right, are you sleeping because it's your downtime? Nice. Can you attack? Nope. He's going to sleep. Classic. All right, so you are going to wake up. What's the rules for this challenge? So this is going to be no geysers from the starting planet. So we can't use any geysers from the starting planet, which is this planet. So that means all of these are out of the question. We're not even allowed to use the oil reservoirs at the bottom. So these oil reses we're not going to touch as well. So you have to seal up the geyser. And then you can't use it. 
Now, the second thing is that you could just teleport to the second planet and just live over there. So there's a rule in place to stop that from happening. You have to base on the starter planet with your main printing pod so that you can't just go here and live. So all my dupes on this side, we are here to grab dirt because without the dirt, we actually die and then salt. So the problem is, is that I don't want a base here. So we're going to want to mine everything. And then I think we're going to like auto sweep chain all the stuff to the sweeper. It's just going to take a long time. So we're going to try to get power here. It's just that we don't have time for this yet. There's a lot we got to do. And then I got to dump the water over here too. All right, so can we mop this? But yeah, that's the rules. Uh, let's see. I am floating. This should be fine. No beds. I mean, you don't need beds, though. Just beds. Beds are all right. All right, we got a little bit of rock. All right, so I'm building this because there is a benefit to this if there is something further behind us. So I'm setting that up. And then there is a secondary strat that I'm considering. Mining below. We do have a good amount of vertical space, so we should be able to land. Alright, I want to do that. Alright, that means I can do this now. So the reason why I want to do this is because if we get hit by a meteor, right? Because there are meteors here. If it hits, it makes contact with the solid tiles. It's not going to hit my actual rocket pocket. So, if it does become a tile, it should be underneath. That's the idea. And then at the same time, I don't want this to be open. All right, let's land this. And then this is so that we could charge the rocket back if we need to. We don't need to on this playthrough though. All right, nice. Let's go, let's go. So it's crew change, we're going home. Oop. Going home. All right, man, the rover is going to be by himself. All right. This is all slime here, 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 so that we could actually reach down to the bottom. Uh, probably want to go out this way. Oh, and then we're going to have to put a door here, probably. Yeah, that, that should be not bad. He has food, too. <laughs> the guy gets food. All right, so we're back here. We want to mop this mess so that the water gets moved to here and back into the storage. I am thinking... Uh, yeah, we'll do this. We're going to do 10 here. It sounds weird, but I want to cut the line. And then I want to potentially remove this and just dump the water. Must be a swamp planet. It is. Cold swamp. Cold swamp. Is it cold? Oh, the frozen friend dude. By himself. Alright, so the rover's in. Uh, probably want to do it like that. And then we got to do a ladder set up here. Oh, we can't pick that up. Oh, that works. Nice. So now we get to the bottom. All right. The rover could do his thing. I don't think we're going to explore it too much, though. Oh, no. This is where the metal volcanoes are. Technically, I should try to look. Alright, that's fair. 
Uh, let's see. Here, 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 here. No, that's a trap. You go this way, that way, that way, this way. All the Pakus right there. I think we go like this, though. They come out this way. Alright, we'll see you from there. I think they changed it recently, and you just build over plants, and dupes will auto-dig them. I don't think that's true. Is it? Yeah, no, that's not true. That might be a mod. That might be a mod. Pickled meal and meal lice. That's a mod. Hey, that's a mod. Uh, pickled meal. And then this one will be pickled meal. And meal lice. Yeah, and I, it was crashing my game after last update. Uh, I see, I see. There is a mod called Build Over Plants. Build Over Plants mod, yep. Wild Plants, I think, works. It's annoying not having it. I haven't played with it, so it's like, to me, it's like, oh, that's new, man. Don't know what that is. Mm -mm. Might have mixed something up there, because I don't use mods. Oh, okay. That's weird. Um, ladders don't. Digging does. Digging behind plants will bop it. Hey, Spillaboy, you're all welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome in, Mr. Ace Billable Hero. A wild one. Ah. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing either. Feels bad. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yo, man, it's Sunday. Just enjoying our Sunday best. Did a couple crosswords today, and now we're just playing Simone. Hanging out. Having a good times. Ooh, I probably don't need the eggs. We'll take that. Calories are healthy. We are on our way back. All right, so he's probably going to lead up to the class. And then this is going to be trimmed out. And then it should spill, and then we'll just mop it up after it spills. All good, Matikso. No worries. There's no food in there. Okay, great. Very right, nice. Meal hall. It's not bad. We rerouted some of the power. How do you deal with the rot? Uh, the rot of food? So if you already got rot, the smart thing to do is just to build a bin somewhere else, always on max priority. Because that way, if you get rotten food in your food storage, your dupes will automatically move it out. So, you know, smart move is to do something like that, right? So, like, you could put, like, a bin anywhere else in the map. What's wrong with rot? It off-gasses polluted oxygen. Polluted oxygen gives you something called, uh, I think it's called pollutant exposure. That speeds up the rate of which food rots. So, that's a 25% modifier. So your food will rot that much faster if you have it in polluted oxygen. I wonder if I actually have that anywhere. Oh, it would be in here, right? Alright, so this food, pollutant exposure, that's what I'm talking about right now, increases the decay rate. So if you hover over the freshness value, you can see that that has contaminated air. It's rotting faster. So that's why it's bad. The pollutant exposure comes from polluted oxygen, and rotten food uh, off-gasses polluted oxygen. So you want to avoid polluted oxygen anywhere you have food. So that's actually why you want to try to get deodorizers in your game. The food rots faster with it, so try to remove the polluted oxygen. It's going to be kind of nice. But uh, that would be what to do. So like, if you have your food storage here in the CO2 pit, just put your bin somewhere else and permanently select a rot pile because every item becomes rot pile before it becomes ro uh, polluted dirt. So rot, so we have food, it becomes rot, rot becomes polluted dirt. Uh, this off gases, polluted dirt off gases. So then that way it's automatically pulled out and you don't have to worry about it. Now, second thing is right here, 
Um, this item that we put in was at 82% freshness because we did the freshener strat. Hey, uh, load of Santa coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, man. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So by putting the freshener spice on the food, putting it in the fridge, our food is actually getting fresher, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. Yo, man, shout out to you. How was the streams? Welcome in, welcome in. Playing some ponies, nice. Hello, hello. How was the uh, stream, Zolo? Oh, that happens. Yeah, like if I raid someone, like uh, I might have like a hundred people watching, but only sixty people raid. That happens. That happens. That happens. No worries. No worries about that. But of course, welcome in. Welcome in. I see you over there. Hello. We have uh, Yeb and Flo. Welcome in. I see you guys over there. How was the streams? Talk to us about that. And how was the Oni Colony? Hopefully you guys got all the things you were taking care of with the gas tanks and whatnot fixed. This is our colony right now. Uh, for the most part, everything's under control. And uh, right now we're just doing some space stuff. I store my food in uh, chlorine pits because of the top of the CO2 advantages to also kill germs. Uh, while that's the case, the chlorine pits doesn't actually do that effectively. Chlorine in the open environment doesn't actually kill germs that effectively. It's really slow to the point where it's almost not effective. And it's also because of how gas movement works. Chlorine only kills germs of things it immediately touches. So effectively, it's just this tile here, and it's not the entire cloud. So because of how that works, it's not really something that actually has an impact. I mean, you could still do it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not killing germs as effective as you thought it would. I, I used to do things like that. I used to do a double liquid lock, right? And then I would have, before it gets into my living area, a chlorine room to desanitize the suits. Because I was like, yeah, if my dupes have germs on them and we run through a room with chlorine gas, we're going to be sanitized, right? And then you just go through a water lock and it's like a shower. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. It did nothing. <laughs> the dupes came through with the germs still. They ignored all that. I was like, ah, oh, man, it was an idea though. <laughs> but yeah. That's not actually gonna really do too much, Lord uh, Focus. But yeah, it's still uh, it's still gonna work for keeping the food preserved because it's sterile environment. E Panda, what's good? I see you over there. I thought I'd send it back to the ad. Uh, oh wow, so this is top tier calling. Yeah, this, this is just you know casual stuff. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. But for the most part, we're doing a challenge run right now. This planet that we start off in is the Desolence. Our challenge is we can't use any of the geysers here. So we have to seal them up and just leave them there. And then we're not allowed to use the oil reservoirs as well. So the idea with this is we have to bring all the resources we need to survive from the other planets. So the first one we get is from the teleporter, which is right here. And we have polluted water. We could go into that planet and we're sending back the polluted water right here. We have some trace amounts of water here and there as well that we're moving back. But that's going to be the water we're moving. That way we can actually generate some oxygen in the spawn design we have right here. It's getting a little warm. 28 degrees. It should be closer to 20 like this at the bottom. But yeah, oxygen is included. We have the uh, oxygen distribution pipeline going into suits here. We have our Draco ranches right here. We have our hatch ranches right here. We have an overflow spot. We're mining into the oil biome, which is a little warm. Can we mop that? Oh, it's too much liquid. Feels bad. That means I'll probably want to mine this. But yeah, right now we are setting up the eating area in a food setup. And then we're doing some rocketry stuff. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. Florian's deep freeze works wonders on food. Don't know it's different for food then. Uh, chlorine and deep free works wonders on food. 
So for the most part, chlorine, yeah, as long as it's a sterile environment, it doesn't really matter which version of the sterile, sterile gas that you use, right? Hydrogen, CO2, chlorine. I believe natural gas doesn't give you that. It's technically a fuel type. And I forget about sour gas, but then it's, you know, it's sour gas. Well, like, what are the chances you're going to want to use that anyways? But yeah, it works. It works. Nothing wrong with that. The only thing about chlorine is that, I mean, technically CO2 liquefies around the same way. Vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum's nice. I personally would choose the vacuum every time. But that's just me, though. I like, I'm kind of weird. What heat mitigation method should I work towards for my colony? Can't seem to cool stuff down. There is a lot of different methods. Uh, so there's two tr uh, two schools of thought when it comes to that. You have your uh, long-term cooling, and then you have your short-term cooling. A lot of times, short-term cooling is good enough for any heat that spawned there. So short-term cooling is when I drip out water on top of a hot area because my, my water is at uh, 17 degrees right here you can see and then the area is around like 60 so i'm just going to be dripping water on top of that because the water is colder has good stat line and it absorbs the heat before we feed it into the spawn that short-term cooling if you have ice is even better i don't have ice to show you but if you do have ice you can make a temp shift plate out of ice it's going to immediately melt and then cool down the area another short-term band-aid those are going to be immediately uh you know going to impact your area it's going to soak up the heat and immediately spike it downwards if you do it properly. Now, the problem with that is it doesn't actually fix anything because if your heat source is still there, something like a generator, something like a powered battery that's constantly emitting heat, the heat's going to come back eventually. In that case, you might be looking for long-term cooling. Long-term cooling is going to be revolved around either the aqua tuner or the thermal regulator, or if you're lucky and you have the anti-anthropy thermal nullifier which is not guaranteed do we have one i don't think we have one. Oh yeah we have one right here this building the anti-anthropy thermal nullifier if you have, have one of these these are actually uh not bad for cooling as well but uh those long-term solutions are going to require you to set up like a cooling pipeline so what i do in my base is i cool down my oxygen so that my oxygen is at a nice temperature and then the oxygen at the nice temperature gets pumped out because your dupes breathe in the oxygen it's technically getting deleted and then they breathe out co2 that holds less space than the oxygen so you create more space for cool oxygen to reoccupy and then that way we kind of maintain heat like that now of course i'm doing a bad job because my heat generating source is here i have a pool of hot water i have the open oil tanks all the heat's leaking out but we're just trying to keep the top cool because that's where our food is growing. The heat doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. As long as you make sure your food's protected, it's all good. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to either do what I do with the oxygen. You could use direct cooling and run the pipeline on tiles instead. It's gonna be regular tiles or metal tiles that you would do that on, never on insulated. And that would be a single segment of radiant pipe. It's a very effective strategy as well, but that's going to be very slow because the area is so hot that you're trying to cool down. Cooling that spot down is going to take forever. I bet it does work. Um, another thing to do is if you have these warts, these are kind of rare. These are natural coolers. What they do, if you don't know, is it's constantly breathing. Although it's a plant, it's technically alive. And it will consume one kilogram of gas on the bottom tile and it breathes it back out and the temperature of the gas is always minus five so minus five degrees celsius so if it breathes in gas at 100 degrees it will spit it back out at 95 so this is a slow passive cooler now of course there's a temperature range for this and you have to feed it phosphorite but there's a nice cooling effect so it's kind of nice of course, if you're playing on the DLC, there's radiation you have to watch out for. But uh, yeah, regardless of the cooling method, you're going to need external sources, whether it's power, whether it's a source of ice or water. Uh, you're going to have to somehow generate the cooling yourself. So yeah, 
hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. I got you. There's nothing in this game I don't know. Natural gas and hydrogen is also fuel. That's true. That's true. I guess what I mean is that natty gas, it's, uh, how do I say it? Because it's, it's, it's like oil based. It's probably not as clean. Yeah. And then another thing is I recommend you guys try things out, you know, experiment with the game. It's, it's owning it's science, right? You got to be a mad scientist. And the day that you're not a mad scientist is the day you lose. Technically speaking, that's how it works. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. So, try things out. Have fun. Experiment with the game. If you guys have anything that's frustrating, though, that you just don't understand, you just want help with, I got you. But otherwise, man, you know what they say, right? Bruce Willis, live free, die hard. Be like that sometimes. Alright, so how are we? We have point three to get back. Nice, nice. Food is good. It doesn't feel like I'm ever spice grinding that often. So this is 12. 12 times 4, 48. Yeah, that's actually exactly how much we have. That means then, yeah, we just don't have any. Oh, it's a smooth baby. Oh snap, this is a rare 2% chance. We got the smooth hatch. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. You gotta go. You gotta go, man. You're holding up the line. Sorry, buddy. You rare, but we don't need you. Feels bad, feels bad. Okay, so now they want water. Because we don't have a water pump for that. Okay. We could probably just mop this up then, right? Yep, there we go. Smooth. My quick fix was pumping all my O2 through vacuum. Cool it down. But I just heated up space and started coming back hot eventually. Ah, so there's a problem with what, what you're saying. So what you're saying is, is that you're assuming the space vacuum is cold. That is something that we only believe in real life is true. In the game, that is not true. So in this game, this is a not a true representation of real life this is inspired by real life space exposure up top is not cold space vacuum is not cold it is it there's a weird misconception because there's no temperature you're assuming it's zero and zero degrees is actually pretty cold that's not the case space exposure has no heat transfer that's how that works so that means if you put in gas at 100 degrees it should come back at 100 degrees now there is a second thing that's also a little bit different if you're playing on the terra start you're going to have what's known as space ice which is a little bit different that is the negative 60 zone right here that's right below the space exposure on the terra start so that's going to be i don't think i have a terra planet anywhere uh that's going to be what you might be talking about that's negative 60 there's dirt igneous rock uh copper there and it's negative 50 to negative 60 degrees, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less by like 10 degrees. But if that's the case, you could do that. That would work temporarily. It will eventually though uh, warm up and you lose the cold energy you're talking about. Oh, okay, so you are talking about the space size. Okay, okay, yeah. Space exposure has no heat transfer. So anything you run in space exposure goes in, comes out same temperature. Unless the material of the pipe was influenced some way, in which case that will skew it one direction or the other. But yeah. Well, what do you think about the exploits in this game? Airflow tiles, infinite, gas storage, ETC. I think it's fine. I like that you have things like that where you could have a non-building. I think that's also the reason why I love the game. This game is one of the few games that is cold not a depiction cold is relative right cold energy is relative to whatever it is you're comparing it to it doesn't actually mean a certain temperature you just have to be lower than x y or z that might be the reasoning why but yeah in this game there is no temperature associated to space so technically it's not cold uh so uh, the exploits in this game i think it's fine I feel like it just happens because of how the game allows you to kind of build 
So one of the things about this game that I think is unique to this game is that you build freely and you could use these builds to solve problems. In about, I wanna say 75% of video games, buildings have a single function and just sit there. They don't do anything else. You can't interact with them otherwise, right? Cause it's like this building uh, makes you iron. Right? You got the iron smelter. This building makes you copper. This is the copper smelter, right? You just add in copper ore, iron ore, and get the refined version. In like 75% of all video games across time, these buildings, so to speak, are literally just single use. In Oxygen Included, you actually have reasons to actually put these buildings because of the temperature threshold, overheating mechanics. And then you have other things too, with how you could store things, store liquid, store gases with the weird designs that we do, right? The heat boxes to trap the heat. I think that's all great. And I think that the exploits that happen because of that is perfectly fine. Because it adds a different dimension to the game that a lot of other games just can't accomplish. So for the most part, I think it's fine. And for the game's sake, while some of the exploits are a little bit strong, it's not like Ocarina of Time, where I could just get Deku stick and then teleport to the last boss and then beat the game in 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Are you using them a lot? It's the, there's not like it's like, you know, the Geneva, Geneva Convention with a list of war crimes. The exploits are going to be determined person to person. <laughs> right? There's going to be people that determine what's an exploit and what's not an exploit person to person. There's there's a school of thought where people argue this right here, the liquid lock in a T-shape, this is an exploit. This is not intuitive for you as a player to keep gases out, even though it's a, a walkway path. And because of such, it's not actually intended. Funny thing is, is that this exact design was on the uh, dev stream. So even the devs use this lock, and that's actually where we got it from. <laughs> so it's like, okay, apparently it's like, this is an exploit because they believe it is. They don't actually care about any of the data. They don't actually read anything either. But it's like, the devs are like, yeah, man, we do it too. It's fine. And this was on the trailer, man. Like, I don't understand. But you know, to each their own. Right? If they want to consider that an exploit, they could play that way. I'm still going to play with it, though. Think about the shape of your plumbing. Oh, that's true, too. The U shape, the S shape, the P shapes. Right? You got the hook like that. And then I seen one where it's like an S or something. I forget. If the devs would delete the lock, if it won't work in game, would the game be much harder? Uh... Would the game be much harder? No, you would just have weird lock designs. They would have weird lock designs. They will add DLC where gas and liquid's the same tile. That's impossible, Matt. Sorry, dude. That's actually not possible without making a new game. Actually, not even a DLC could actually change that. You would literally have to write a new game from scratch in order for that to happen. In which case, it wouldn't make sense to patch it. Just make a new game in general. Like, it's it's fundamentally coded into the game. It's like... It's like saying... Dude, they're gonna start removing letters from the alphabet. And it's like, well, we're still gonna say a lot of the words that we already said. And they're still gonna exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're still gonna do that. Man. Adding layers? That's not something they could do in the game. Your game wouldn't be able to calculate. Think about how laggy this game is, and then you start calculating miniature movement within these tiles. So you're effectively making the lag, let's say four, you're gonna trim this into four quadrants. You're gonna make it four times more laggy because you're gonna have four times the calculations. It's not possible. <laughs> it's literally not possible unless they have a new engine or uh, they recode everything from scratch, remove one of the elements like heat transfer. 
how do you build the rocket over crew quarters? Uh, this is known as a wagon strat. This is a lot better because when you build your rocket platform, the exhaust, right? It's further away from the surface. You have to do it in blueprint form. So you would build it normally, but don't let your dupes build it. So it has to be in blueprint form. And then click the up and down arrows here. So hope that makes sense. I can't show it to you because I don't have a new platform yet. Dude, Vanya coming in uh, with the raid. Holy heck, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello. Playing some Coral Island. Thanks so much for the raid though, Vanya. I see you over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. How was the streams? They might be getting hit by the ads. Hopefully not, because I am running uh, the pre-roll. So they shouldn't actually be... Uh, I mean, not running pre-rolls. I'm running ads, so there shouldn't be no ads. But welcome in. I see you over there. How was the stream? Talk to us about the Coral Island. But thank you so much for the raid. Bring your community to share with ours. If you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. And we're playing some Oxygen Not Included. Just some colony management. We're hanging out today. We uh, just got back with the rocket mission. Otherwise, we're just making a food area for the people to eat. Making sure we're doing good, answering questions from chat, and making sure we could progress the colony. Dealing with some heat, a little bit at a time. But yo, talk to us about the streams though. Vanya, thank you so much for the raid once again. S Parade, no starter geysers. Do you have to go to space to find any? I take it? Uh, yeah. I did allow the teleporter though. So we're getting the water source immediately from the second planet. That makes it a little bit easier because it just means that we can't use any of the water back at home. So no steam vent, it's fine. And then we just get water on the second planet. And then, yeah, we can't use any of the power geysers here. There's no core on the planet and I can't use the oil reservoir. So we're going to be having to dread, uh, you know, power resource, metal resource from uh, other planets so that we could actually build things like the Great Monument. Like I don't have enough to afford steel. <laughs> and since I don't have power, I can't really run too many aqua tuners. We're trying to run hatches though for a little bit of coal power. But uh should be not bad. Not bad. Vanya, thanks so much for the raid. How are you? How was the streams? Talk to us about that. What'd you guys get done in the Coral Islands? Oh, this is idle. Uh Is there anything else I want to grab? Just so that I could use the rad bolt charge? I guess we could try to grab the coffee. Oh, no, we got to grab this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that right now. I think uh, more each tile, the layers for each type of particle, gas, liquid, but they don't interact with each other ex except temperature. Uh, yeah. I don't think you could add an extra layer like that without making the game not lag when you open up a new planet. I don't think you could do anything in that regard that makes the game more laggy overall in general like you're just increasing the number of calculations by a multiplier that's the problem you're taking a fundamental design calculation and you're making it worse when the game can't really run when you have every planet unlocked and discovered i just don't think that's going to be something they'll actually do and it's also because of the unity engine's fault Unity, ever since the fiasco happened, has been sucking. Everything they promised is, well, they double backed on. So it's like, Unity's been struggling too, which doesn't help out the uh, game development, right? <laughs> there was a lot of promises, and they're like, oh, yeah, it didn't happen. We said we were going to get this tech, but yeah, it just didn't happen. So it's like, yeah, it's hurting everyone with that, I think. But yeah, maybe, maybe in the future, Matt... It won't be the next DLC. I don't think it would. I might be wrong, of course. Just completely wrong. But it's like, maybe somewhere down the line, I could see that happening. Alright, alright. So, we're going to be flying back to here. And we need to set up some solar panels. Uh, we got the rover set up. So, we're going to go back to here. We got the glass. Does solar panels require mechatronics? It doesn't, right? We should be fine. And then we will need lead. We have lead. That's going to be for the conductive wires. All right. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's get some food here. And then I do want to send a second dupe to help him out. 
So who was the second guy? I remember he had a homie. Oh, Matikso. Matikso, man, don't mess this up. <laughs> Matikso, man, don't mess this up, man. Last time you were clutch and you saved them. So you low-key a stud, Matikso. You were mad clutch last time. <gasps> oh, we didn't put this on priority nine. We didn't do the coal deliveries. Come on, man. Yeah, they want more money and calculate new futures with new cash income, but Deb said bye-bye. Yep. Uh, I heard, though, the reason why Unity did that deal was because they were okay taking the L. Since the big companies, like the AAA companies that make like smaller game titles or whatnot, they said okay to the new fees. So that's why they were okay with them like basically shafting everyone else. Because, like, I guess you could say, like, the income they needed to actually, you know, be okay was there. Some of the big game, uh, big name companies, right? But, yeah, losing small devs probably hurts them. Probably hurts them. Spent a lot of time cleaning trash out of the ocean, but we're all ready for the second summer. Oh, nice! So how does that compare? So I've never played Coral Island. I've only ever played something like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon. Big fan of that game. So it's like Coral Island was something recommended to me. People are like, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be nice. It's going to be fun. Oh, we don't have the fancy buildings. Yo, do we have any decorators in chat? Uh, okay. Oh, Arwen. Arwen cuteness. If you're out there, you're going to be our uh, art school student. Is it just Arwen? We don't have to put them in the arena to fight for who has to be uh, going to art school? No, it doesn't. Nice. Arwen, we're sending you to art school, baby. You better start doing the art, too. Where are you at, Arwen? There she is. Decorating 11 skill points. Yo, man, it went up to 11. God damn. That is impressive. All right, that should be fine. Did we get the food in the rocket? Yeah, we did. Toilet water, so that she doesn't have to pee their pants. Let's stock a new suit. Is that even the right? No, that's the wrong. Oh, that's the wrong one. I lied. That was the wrong rocket, man. All right, we got to turn this off. It's very similar to Stardew. I feel like there was more going on because the ocean is basically another thing to progress. Like through the mine. Oh, and you still have the mine. That means you still have the mine, right? So you could do two things like that. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. Would you recommend it? Because isn't Stardew Valley also coming out with like a new 2.0 patch or something like that? I hear that's coming out soon. Low key, kind of, kind of hype. Not really though, because I, I burned myself out, man. I did one of those bad, bad mistakes. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. All right, this is back down to 21. Oh, we're not adding any more water, though. That's not good. Uh, we'll add the cold water directly from here. Uh, we won't run the overflow toilet. We'll do it like this. There we go. That way we could just store the pee water. Soon? For some definition of soon? They said this year, right? Every time I go to the Stardew channel page, they everyone talks about, oh yeah, 1.6 waiting room. You know? So I'm assuming it's coming out this year. I might be just wrong, right? So a lot of people are like just putting on their titles. So I'm assuming that I might be wrong. Hey, Arwen. Thank you for decorating. I'm not really a fan of that picture though. Let's see what we get here and then we might change it. Also, if all the NPCs look really good in their swimsuits, it's a selling point for you. A lot of people mentioned for Coral Island. I, I, oh wait, it's, it's in a couple weeks? What? Two weeks? Less than two weeks? Dude, that's insane. Less than two weeks? We're going to get the 1.6 patch? Oh, dude. Guys, we're going to start becoming a Stardew streamer. I'm just kidding, you guys. I'll, I don't know if I will be streaming Stardew. Probably not. <laughs> dude, that's fast. That's around the corner. I have heard that. I, re I remember someone told me uh, Coral Island is effectively 
Stardew Valley, but everyone was good looking. And I was like, wow, okay. There's a new RimWorld DLC? What? Dude, I remember three years ago. Four years ago. Dude, I was going to say three years ago before COVID. God damn. My memory has gone to crap. I remember before COVID, man. RimWorld was like, yeah, we're never coming out with a new DLC. And then Rona happens. And he's like, yeah, man, I got to sell a DLC to make some money. And then he made three. Now we're getting a, we're getting a fourth one? God damn. Royalty, ideology... The bio one, the biotech, and that's it, right? Royalty ideology, biotech, and then the new fourth one, dude. No man, I used to be real hype about RimWorld until I actually got mad that I couldn't beat the game. Feels bad. Feels bad. He's going to spell rib world. Aw, oh, snap. Royalty, ideologies. And then I think it was called biotech. No, he's going to spell... He's going to spell a word. No, it's going to be backwards. B-I-R. So, R is first. Because that was the first DLC. So, that's the last letter in the word. I still don't know any words. That's, that's B-I-R. Somewhere in the end. <laughs> Feels bad. Alright, so right now, let's see. What do we need to do? So we're waiting for this to get stocked. We're ready. Toilet water. Alright, let's launch. Oh, we never actually filled. Oh no, but we have oxygen there. So I should be able to do it like this. And then we want to cut this line. And then we want to cut that line. Because we don't want to loop infinitely to ourselves. Alright, so that means we're ready. Crew change. We're going to go to the magma planet. All right. Well, let me do something real fast. Let's put this on all. All right, and put it back on crew. This should make it in time. This is the toilet water. And it's in. Launch. I'm in, boys. We're going to be flying to the magma planets. I unfortunately made some mistakes. Oh, the sulfur is gone. Guys, 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 guys. The sulfur is gone. Oh, snap. We're one step away to be able to go into this area and not die. Because eventually, this is going to vacuum out, and a vacuum has no temperature, so we don't get cooked by the magma. Hell yeah, boys. No more barbecue dupes, no more, dude. You see this? We almost died here, man. You should have saw the last stream. Dude, it was... It was nerve-wracking, dude. We should have lost. Everything was on the line, dude. Man actually was down, and he had to be saved. And then the other guy was mad hurt. Oh, dude. It, it was, it was, I thought we were going to lose. It was that bad. But you know what? We clutched it. No one died. No, no new tombstones. We got it. And we're happy. And the ad dropped right in the middle. Yo, man, I don't get to control that, man. I actually do, but at the same time, not really. <laughs> so I guess there's no more usage for sulfur other than feeding divergent and the food you just showed me. Uh, let's see. Tech, yeah, that's it. That's That should be it, technically. Oh, you use it to make fullerene if you have to use the graphite recipe. That's the only other thing. You do need this for... Uh, I think that's... This is for super coolant, right? This is for super coolant. So the problem with this is that you could skip graphite and go straight to fullerene if you get one of these to be the right point of interest. It's not guaranteed. RNG, right? So if you do get that, you could skip the uh, graphite sulfur recipe. But otherwise, you do have that part of the uh, applications. It is what it is to be like that. All that magma near the surface speaks of how much of a disaster that must have been. Dude, man, it was... So I came in overconfident. 
because I was like, I'm gonna do the door strat at the bottom. We'll dig through. It's gonna be nice. Liquid lock the end. Everything's gonna be fine. And then everything went wrong, dude. <laughs> everything went wrong. What the sides do go up, but no die. Okay. Uh, that is gonna be hit points. So when your health actually drops to zero, you don't die. The ways you actually die is A, uh, starving, so calories hit zero. B, uh, suffocation, so breath goes to zero. And then C, after your health goes down to zero from taking damage, you have a countdown. That countdown is 120 seconds. You have two minutes to save your dupe. How you save the dupe is you have to pick them up because they're no longer able to move with a second dupe and then put them to the triage cot. That's gonna automatically give them one hit point. And so they'll be one out of a hundred. And then they have to slowly regenerate. So sleeping on a triage cot allows you to generate health. Health 50 per cycle. If there's a doctor, it's a little bit better. But uh, that would be how they would regenerate their health. So to save them, you just have to take them to the cot. So that's the thing. You have to send someone to save them. So if they're in a bad situation, in my case, they were uh, sleeping in magma. That was pretty bad. It was uh, kind of scary. <laughs> it was kind of scary. Used about 190. Dude, it was close. I was so mad when we had that uh, move to glitch. Y'all remember that? I had that weird move to glitch. I was so mad about that because I was like, this is not supposed to happen. This is not supposed to happen, man. Uh, we'll do that. Nice warm blanket. Yep, yep. You pick welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, so we're flying to the other planet. I'll be fine. And then back at home. What are we doing? We have food. The storage is not bad. I guess we could try to make a meta refinery setup, which would probably be down here. It makes a lot of sense. Only problem is, is that it's really hot. So I really want to try to get ice or something. I probably don't have ice. So calories and oxygen up to zero, you die, but HP, you just go down. Yep. That's because there's a lot of things in this game that could hurt you. I was taking damage from being in an area that's too hot. So you get attacked by critters. You can take sunburn damage, I think. No, sunburn doesn't actually hurt you. You could get shot by the uh, radiation bolts. But yeah, I guess because of the different ways you can actually take damage, they gave you a little bit of leeway. Doing good, good to hear, good to hear. Okay, so how much steel do we have? Yeah, I think we should try to do something with the oil and try to do a weird setup with that. I want to do it on this side, but then we would have to cool this area down. Um, why not? We could do a meme strat, technically. Yeah, all right, let's put this back to seven to start crushing CO2 again. That's going to be okay. We'll mop this up. We need to get rid of this, but then I don't have a way to cool this down. We could just use the water from the other side. That does work. Yeah. Oh, I am 6 p.m., 10 past. I'm in America, baby. Only way to do it. <gasps> oh no! No! Dude, I fucked up! Holy shit! I fucked up beyond repair? Fubar! Holy shit! Dude! <laughs> Guys, how do you get eggs in this game? How do you get eggs in this game? You ranch! And you know what happens when you put eggs in a bin and you forget to take them out? They become actual raw eggs instead of a critter. Oh my god. 
I can't believe I did myself up like this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. Alright man, we're making omelets. And we're gonna put raw egg in here as well. We're also gonna make uh, omelets on that. We could put omelets in here as well. <laughs> Alright boys, we're gonna have a lot of food. We're gonna have a lot of food. Ah, oh, that's so sad. It is what it is. So I, I effectively lost out on higher quality food. So effectively, omelets give you, uh, right here, plus four morale. But we could have had barbecue. That's the thing. And technically speaking, uh, the omelets are a little bit more food, but the morale quality is better. So we just lost out on the good food, man. Feels bad. Hate to see it, man. All right. So how are we on this side? Point three. How are we on the other planet? We do have one guy idle. I guess that's not good. Let's try to mine this. Get rid of that. Uh, we do want to get rid of as much as we can over on that side. And I also want to do some stuff over here. So this is bleach stone. And then ideally... I want this ladder. And we should probably try to do this part first. And then we'll move the bleach stone to here. So that it doesn't create a new gas type. I will turn on dirt back on. Because we have enough salt, I should think. Uh, let's check out the salt. Eight tons. Yeah, we should have enough for the food. And then, yeah, we'll send back all the dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so there is still more we could mine here that I don't mind. Right, just to send back the stuff. All the resources fall down. We do a single layer trim here. The pips are planting all the mealwood. So we do that. We could climb up to mine, so this is fine. One, two, three, four. We can't actually reach that. Okay, and then once we get the ladder here, we get more salt to bring back home. Can't complain, can't complain. Just want to make sure we don't spill the salt water down. That's the one thing we're worried about. If anything, we want that to go into here. And then we need to bop the, uh, the water. Alright, so now this is ready. Right, this is a little bit hot. Oh, this is actually really cool. I don't actually have to worry about heat anymore. I might be okay with dripping water. I might actually still drip it though. We we'll want a ladder down over there. Alright, so I want to do this weird meta refinery setup. So I might drip the water on this side instead off of this. So we're going to want to change up this design. Let me do... I know we're pulling from here. I don't want to. And then we're going to use this water line. Uh, we could do that. I want to do this instead. And then we do this line. And then this line goes into there. We don't want that. I don't know if we're going to use this that often. So I'm going to cut this so that we could just use this to reroute. Or we just pull it from here instead, so it makes more sense. Run it along the ladder, and then along the bottom. One, two, three, four, that's within reach. And then we want to drip there. Alright, the only thing we're worried about is the sporkid. I don't want the colony becoming a zombie colony. It is kind of hot inside. Uh, we probably want to trim this for the oil. And then I want to mine this. And then technically we get to mine all that. Because I could climb here to here. And then I don't reach that. So that means I need a ladder here. Oh. 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 Oil res. God damn it. Alright. We'll put the ladder right back. 
Oh, dude, you know what happens? They landed on the planet and it was grounded. Oh, dude. That sucks. All right, man. I got to use a strat. Have you ever had the zombie colony? I haven't. I have never actually had zombie sports happen to me. All right, so we're going to change his clothes outside so he doesn't make a mess. And the water's gone. Magic. All right, let's give him a suit. Let's give you a suit. There we go. Nice, doing good, doing good. All right, so we move the suit. All right, next thing we want to do is we're gonna make a ceiling. Uh, it's gonna be like this. Five tiles, and then we're gonna remove the triage cot. Have you ever seen a zombie colony? Hmm. Seen someone with zombie spores? Or a colony with the breakout of zombie spores? I don't actually think I have. I feel like a lot of people, when they get that happen, they just assume they lose and just give it up. <laughs> I, I, that's, what, that's what it feels like. I mean, I'm, I don't know if that's actually true. But it's like, yeah, I would assume that's the case. Right, we're gonna do that. And then the logic is, is that I don't want any of the glass or other lead and stuff to fall below. So they're gonna have to walk on top and then walk across the ladders. There shouldn't be anything here to melt anything. Zombie spores are honestly kind of weak, to be honest. Minus 10 to all stats. I guess it's like, you could be in a position where it's like not that bad. How do we know it's not a ruse and the spores aren't actually harmless? I had some one individual infected before, but I've never had an entire colony uh, collapse or, you know, get bopped by it. I've had, I've, I've played with it before. That's different. <laughs> it's technically a little different. That being said, this is the only zombie spore I have, I think, at the bottom. This might be the only one. Oh, there's one here. So we have two at the bottom. All right, we gotta build the cell. We gotta mine everything else. Everything seems good. Get back to here. This is done. Nice. All right. So now we're gonna have glass. So we're gonna do one, two. It's gonna be like that. And then one, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Oh, dude, you're getting hurt. Come on, man. That impacts your athleticism. You're bringing it inside? Wait, wait, wait. Dude, this shit is 185 degrees. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Fuck, man. We about to get cooked inside the rocket. Oh, shit. Uh, sweep only. He's setting us up, man. Setting me up. All right, goddamn. Dupe doing dupe things, I know, man. All right, so this is gonna be the next thing we'll do. Uh, so the problem with this is I won't be able to hold, I won't be able to hold anything, huh? Because I would need to have the batteries in ice. So the batteries are gonna be down here. Yeah, we'll likely have to do something like that.
dude doing dude things. Look away for half a second. Everything's on fire, dude, man. I wouldn't have no. I'd be like, why is this getting warm, dude? Oh, dude, this is at 185 degrees. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So the thing with this is that I don't want to remove this from the bin. Because the bin itself is at 32 degrees. <laughs> it's going up, man. I'm scared. I'm going to let it slowly climb. All right, we're going to build this south to get that. And then they're going to have the lead wires we're going to have to make. Uh, we're just going to use lead here. Because this is less than 2,000 watts. How, what's the sunlight here, actually? Oh, 30, 30,000. Yeah, we, we barely get half. We barely get half. So what's power of one? Yeah, we get 190 watts per. And we have eight. Yeah, this is going to be like 1,800 watts. This is barely going to be anything. Build a higher priority building outside? I guess that can work. Uh, the problem is, is that you start sweeping random amounts of igneous that's not inside. And you can't sweep the items unless it's on the floor. <laughs> That's such a weird dilemma. God damn, man. Uh, I guess the strat is we are going to have to... Well, whatever I build here, unless it's a tile. But then I want it to kind of off-gas still. Um, super meme strat like this. Doors don't work because they melt. The gases are hurting my dupes. So they could probably interact with a door. And this melts everything I have. Well, except steel. I don't want to waste steel on that, though. I'm just going to bop the ladders. Ah, that should be fine, though. We having breathing issues? No, they're just having... Oh, I forgot to bring rad pills. You're starting to get radiation sickness. That's not good. You could pee it out, right? Pee out the rads. Nice. Minus 100. They're working. They're working. Nice. So this is clean. All right. So maybe now this works. No longer sweep only. Good to know if I ever have rad poisoning. So rad poison, uh, peeing with your dupes is naturally how you would get rid of it. But it's not something you could force the dupes to do. So a lot of the times you have to do something about that by building uh, the apothecary. And then you're building something called a rad pill. That's going to increase the amount of radiation you kind of release naturally. And it's kind of like a timed effect. So that would be what you need to actually do if you need to like treat the actual radiation poisoning. You could chance it if they're not actually that bad by just allowing them to pee every day. Let them tank it, so to speak. But they might start vomiting. Might be the only thing about that. Hey, how come we're not putting the omelets in? Oh, that's an error. Someone has to do it. It's gonna be fine. All right, so back at home, how are we with this setup? Setting up the pipes, not bad. We can't build that now, that's okay. Let's mine this. Let's mine that. Building out the insulated pipe seems good. We're still mining this out. All right, so this is mined out. And we probably remove this because we don't need the lip anymore. Any water we do in is going to be okay. Let's mop this up. And then I need to mine this tile. I want to watch over this because if they stand on top and then it's like they dig it, they're going to climb up and then they're going to be stuck. You guys who play this game know this as the duplicate special. I know how to get myself stuck each and every time. And for whatever reason, it's always stinky. It's like, that's a cursed dupe or something. 
Alright, still seal two. So the spill path here has been uh, somewhat okay. Are we good on this side? So yeah, we could, we could, you know, put the power in. We're not going to store it, but, you know, we just want to get the setup. Oh, they picked up the lead? Not bad. Milligram. So we're still waiting for this to naturally just leak out in vacuum. We'll probably have to build this and then leave. Most likely. I'll try to remember to bring rad pills next time, though. Hey, we moved it out! Hey, we did it, boys! Nice, we don't have to worry about the igneous rock anymore. Ooh. Good, good, good. Alright, water storage on that side. We have a lot of water. We're not doing anything here, but I think that's okay. Back down to here. Uh, let's mine that. No one's doing this. Esme, Bram, Braum. There we go. We do that. And this is clean. And then back to here. Build the ladder. We could mine that. Mine out the rest. Alright. And then I do need to mop this up, but it's kind of tough. Probably try to do that. Build pump for oxygen. Build pump for oxygen. Pump for oxygen? Pump for oxygen? In this area? I think we'll be fine here. Not sure where you're looking at, you pick. Alright, they're gonna be working on that. There's probably a suit exchange we gotta do. The flip planet. Oh. Yeah, that's not happening. This is going to melt everything that we could use. <laughs> so because there's a gas, the magma is heating up the gas. So we have to wait for that to naturally do its thing. We can't touch that. It's, it's like 1500 degrees. And it wouldn't realistically help that much. It wouldn't realistically help that much. Just because of how the, the gas works with the gas pump. It's not going to be as effective as it would need to be. Oh, nice. So this is good. So we can mine this. Mine that. And then... There are parts that are a little bit hot. Alright, let's add some water here. Wider shaft would probably help dissipate it faster, wouldn't it? It would. It would. 100%. It's just that I, uh, yeah, can't widen on the left side. We could widen on the right. It really could widen on the right. I think this is okay, though. All right, we got some water to help cool it down. Oh, the Slixer is going to die then. Feels bad. He's touching cold water. Mind everything else. Technically, I want the oil to spill from here. Oxygen didn't get dragged down yet. Oh, nice. This was done. There we go. These two, that one. And then we need to mop up as much of the liquids as we can. This is still too much oil. Wow. I guess we could do that and hopefully we could mop it up. Oh, please don't be stuck. You're not stuck, right? <laughs> Want to make sure. Yeah, he's cool. Not bad. These guys are trapped again. Why are you idling in the freaking radiation, dude? That's why you're getting sick, man. Every time. That's why you get sick. That's the one thing I don't like about dupes. They will idle in radiation. I wish that was something they would actually, like, AI walk away from. 
because they, they don't have any code inside to prevent standing from uh, radiation unless it's a deadly amount. They will idle in any amount as long as it's not deadly. But then it's like, it's you could still die that way though, because it's like, yeah, it's an accumulation, not so much a deadly amount of exposure. When they trap this, you gotta watch out, man. The dupes will do that. Some of the dupes do it to themselves sometimes. Yeah, if you, if you know the lore, some people argue that it makes sense. And it kind of does. I think him need room and planet. Yeah, but there's no room that moves you when you're idle. Like if they made it so that the recreational room that you have actually made it so that your uh, idle dupes would just go to the recreation room, that would be amazing. But they don't have it that way. So there's no point because technically there's a bed here for him, but he still doesn't come in until he's trying to sleep. They're working hard, though. Alright, we're going to have them in crew. The logic for this is going to be because they're a little bit sick. We're going to give them a day to just kind of hang out inside. Alright, let's deliver the suit. We're going to probably want to swap their suits. And then they could just hang out inside for a little bit. That way they're protected from the radiation. They could just pee it out. All right, nice. Now we're here. Mop, mop. Too much liquid there. All right, it's fine. We did do this for gas flow. And then we have this that's going to be hot. 87 degrees. That's going to be fun. All right, and then we got the water here. We're going to trim that for now. I think that's a good amount. Still going to need to trim out everything else. So the metal refinery being here makes a lot of sense. It will mean that I won't be able to use this as a way to heat up the water anymore. I could just start using salt water from the second side, though, for that. Why are you building so many solar panels on the other planet? I am planning to... So part of the run is we have a challenge. The challenge on this run is we have to live on the starter planet, but we can't use any of the geysers on this planet, right? So we have to get our resources from the other planets. Now, the second thing is, is that we have to live on the original planet. I have to eventually automate everything so that we could send all the resources back to the original planet and we can't live there. So we're going to eventually need power to do the sulfur tamer. We need the sulfur geyser so that we could generate food. That's going to be for sweetles and grub rubs, right? We're going to use these little beetle babies and the uh, grub fruit that we have over here. So it's going to eventually be an empty planet and we're going to need power for that. And this is going to be the only way we generate power. The sulfur geyser doesn't actually get hot enough, right? Uh, the geyser itself only gets a 165. You can't really power steam with that, let alone getting something like an aqua tuner. And I don't think there's a power geyser on here, right? I guess there is a steam vent. It gives us water as well and the natty gas. But I opted for solar panels because there is no meteor shower, so it's perfectly safe. 100% passive. Don't have to really worry about, uh, you know, something overheating, something breaking. It's just the batteries. So that way I could automate this setup later on. Maybe put their water. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't think I need it because I have water here, salt water that's hot. And we have a steam vent and a cool steam vent over here. And that's better because it's going to be faster with the teleporter building than to send that back with the uh, interplanetary launcher. But yeah, that's the reason why we're using a lot of solar panels there. We're going to eventually leave it alone and... Uh, you know, try to do the things. All right, hopefully this pushes out properly. And then we're gonna have to mine this. All right, so we will mine it like that. Yes, get the mob on that side. And then we're gonna have to mine this. One, two, three, four. That's why, okay. 
Oh, you can't build over that. Oh, so sad. Oh, how am I going to do this? Like this? Oh, this platform is so jank now. I could see how this benefits. I mean, it wouldn't benefit, but I could see how we could use the space though later on. It'll be later on though. Uh, we could build a gen there, put water, colder, and try to go to location generator. So we could do that. I just don't think we need to. It's like you're doing extra steps for the same thing, right? Because all you're doing is generating water. I mean, generating power. Because you're just doing that for hydrogen, right? And that means the oxygen is going to get dumped somewhere. I thought you could do that. I just feel like it's you don't need to do that. Just extra steps. Because we had solar already, right? The food is good. Dude, look at all the food here, man. 100%. This might rot, but I think it's fine. If pickled meal mice rot, I'd be okay. Oh, how is it on this side? 3k, okay. So we need to continue mining out this planet so that we can bring back the salt, sand, fossil, dirt probably the aluminum as well we need to move as much of that as we can so we'll do this and then from this layer i guess we could do that because this does actually work except for right here uh let's do that just so that we could mine this out and then we would want to mine that this is a little bit it's not a lot and I eventually want to get the dirt here, but the CO2 is insane. So we'll try to set something up for that. Yeah, that should be okay. And then this is going to be a trim. Most likely ladder path in there because we're going to get rid of this. Polluted oxygen. I should keep it like that. That's off gassing from here. Oh, and we're not pumping water anymore. Okay. We might want to start pumping this then. We can get down here. And this would be a simple water pipe. And the power is right here as well. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. That should be good. And then we're still building up the ladder setup. Got to mine out the salt. And then we have to start building in the sands. All right. So we'll also want to send some more food here. Give us some more pickled meals. And the glossy is starting to come together. Nutrient bars? Sure. And we have idle here. Wow, of all places. If y'all is idle, y'all could sweep. And we have a lot of items we could sweep. WC, uh, we're, we don't have any, we don't plan on having one, anyone living there though, so no. Don't think we're gonna have that for that reason. No one's gonna live there. They're gonna be there for now, but it's like not long term. Alright, so now they go back out. This should be clean. Let's actually swap suits. They can do whatever they want to do now. Go back outside, do the things. Oh, that's oxygen. Uh, change this to zero. We need to stop crushing that. And then 90 degrees. So, yeah, it gets hot very soon. Let's go down to there. We got to start releasing the water so that we don't get burned. A water company taking your water and base your water is their water. No, ma'am. But, but we are the company. 
I don't know what you're talking about. We're taking our own water. Kind of confused, kind of confused. Are you trapped? No, you're just waiting. And you're just idling outside. Can't have that. All right, all right. Working hard. Oh, that was my fast. Yeah, this is good, pretty good. Uh, I probably do want to try to just pump this out cleanly and not actually want it to spill. That's probably okay. And then that's dirt, aluminum. We can leave the igneous there. And then this setup is going to be a little weird. Ah, uh, hmm. I could see how it's a little bit weird. Oh, we need refined metal here. Okay. Let's get a little bit of lead. That's probably all we'll need. Let's put a thousand here. Lead back to here. This is accessible. Nice. Let's go for that. Let's mop that up. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, so this corner is really hot should be okay though we'll need the vent line almost connected so this goes this way not bad all right we're gonna drip the water to warm that up or cool that down and then we'll eventually put the water back into here so there was something i wanted to do that was kind of a meme uh here and then this should be fine. And then this just exits out the water directly in, which is kind of what we want. Not bad, not bad. Oh, mop the oil, boys, or it's going to be a bad time. Auto save lag. Alright, water's coming in. CO2 problems. The water's gonna sit on top of the oil, which is not a good thing. So I'm hoping to be able to mop as much of it as we can. Oh, and we're good. We were actually fine. I just panicked. Alright, so now this is going to cool everything down. The water's coming in at 17 degrees, and it's already warming up. Alright, we'll let that do its thing for a while. Just soak up some heat on the surface. Looks like this has cooled down. We'll probably want to drip some to the bottom layer, so we'll do it right there. And then it's going to need some time to absorb the heat. Oh, we almost... Oh, we almost got that tile? You guys are so close. CO2 problems. There it is. Immediately soaking up the heat. Alright, alright. Let that drip. Let them do its thing. How are we over here? Nice. It's actually on. Next thing we could do is probably something like this. Most likely. And we still have 500 kilograms of flood. All right, should be okay. There is nothing that's hot right there. MCGs were almost okay. Or it might be okay actually right now to not get burned. These guys are still building, taking care of business. So salt, dirt, uranium, aluminum. And I guess eggshells. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess also because of 
with the situation, I shouldn't actually worry about heat. Yeah. Um. Oh. That's where refined metal would be nice. Okay. Let's do this. We do that. Do that. So we sweep. And then this is going to be copper. 250. We do that. We'll put copper here. So we're just going to try to get 250 kilograms. And then we'll move that over for smart battery. Alright. Enjoy the seeds. Getting bought. Uh. We should be able to just mine this entire thing out. Alright, let's mine just the granite, because that's the only tier 2 in the area. Trim that backwards. 40 degrees, 70 degrees. It's trying to do heat exchange, but yeah, the bottom here is getting pretty hot. 87. Yeah, it's hot. 90 degrees. That might take a lot of water. Alright, and back on this side. I think it's pretty cool. Just mop everything up. Everything seems cool. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so I think we're going to do the meta refinery setup. It is going to be a little bit weird, but I think it would fit in here. Problem is, there's a lot of weird dead space in here for no reason. So maybe we could use that for something? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Got an idea. I got an idea. I think because I want this to be streamlined, I'm not going to really do this specifically for power. I'm going to be doing this for non-stop processing. Is I think how I need to do that. I think I need to do non stop processing. Okay. So that means we're going to run a two steam turbine setup. Uh, Y'all is trapped? No. We're actually just fine. All right. No, they actually have muds though. Oh. Alright, one more suit exchange. And they'll be done soon. Nice, nice. So we have only worn out suits. Nice, so we're good. You are storing the lead. Nice. Uh, let's put the Igneous here. Build back the ladder. And then I think we're going to leave. Alright, crew. Change. We're going home. And we're good. This is going to be a good test to see if we actually exhaust, burn the solar panels. Now, the space exposure is constantly eating the steam. So it looks like we're safe. Good, good, good. That's perfect. We got about two, three tile leeway. Not really too mad about that. All right, this is also a lot of water. Let's cut the pipes. And then we need to start making the setup here. How wide is this? We need at least 10. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. So we do 10 here. That's a tile, so that's 11. So this would be steam turbine room right here. This is perfectly fine. And then I guess we could run the reses here and do a weird setup. Because we would have this inside the res. It's going to be so jank. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then it's going to be like that. We're going to eventually have to vacuum this. We're going to have to have a liquid layer here, two steam turbines. This is going to be a vacuum as well, though. But I don't know if it's going to matter too much. All right, so I'm probably going to use normal size. So it's going to look like something like that, most likely. 
And then that's gonna be where we put the Aqua Tuner and where we put the Metal Refiner. I might actually use two Aqua Tuners in here. It sounds really jank, but I think that's fine. So we're gonna need a lot of steel. Okay, so I will need the water for steel somehow. We stopped giving water from this side. Okay, so this pipeline, once is ready, is going to be actually kind of key. Yeah, so this is ready. That's inactive. That's food. And then we have pea water. All right, so we're going to go with that. We'll do that. I might not even need that ladder. And it should be okay to go for this design. And then it'd be like that. There we go. All right, and then we gotta send over the coal so we don't have to run the wheel anymore and we just get everything and leave. Uh, that's right here. Not the coal, the uh, copper. Nice. And did we send the lead? It's there, nice. Okay, smart battery, copper, there it is. We're gonna put that floating right there. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna put coal gen next to that. And this is going to be all the power we need. Lead. Right? And then we're just going to run small wire. Alright, construction on this is going to be the most important. This is going to be so that we don't have to run the wheel anymore. And then we're just going to need a little bit of coal. There's sadly no coal on this map. So we'll have to just send it over. Okay, okay. We have about 200 tons. Let's send all 20 tons. That we could fill up the uh, reservoir with, or the bin with. Because we have a hatch ranch. Yeah, it's only going up. We were at 190 at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, it should be good. Is this all hatches? It is. Alright, that means... This is a regular hatch. Stone hatch, okay. They gotta do the job. They gotta do the job. Fungal spore. We'll take that for now. And they are flying back. Nice. Alright. Get that set up. The water did spill and the area has cooled down. So I can't complain. Let's try to get that tile, and then let's try to get these two tiles out. It's really hot right here, so I'm hoping the water spills over. Also, this is likely going to be part of what we do next. Crude oils in grams. Can we mop that? this still trimming out getting close as we can the more we mine the the more heat we delete so technically I want to do that is it meal getting bopped in a direct wreck no these are because oh it is I thought it was just not because they, were, they, were, they weren't getting harvested anymore. All right, so we got the strat for that. Ice temperature plate. We got the strats for that. We got the strats for that. This is what you call a band-aid fix. I think it's because of the new Dracos. They spawn above 30, so then eventually they warm up the hydrogen, and that eventually warms up the seal too.
Nice. Arwen doing the jumps. Oh, dude. This got demolished. Feels bad. It is what it is. The rover's here, too. Oh, it's shut down. It's still alive, though, right? Yeah, next time we save load, it's gonna die. Feels bad. I should try to find the other geysers, though. Uh... And then that goes down here. That goes down here. We could do that to jump across. Or we do this to jump across, which works. And then we'll try to do this strat. Uh, let's do that. And then I want to get to here. All right, that works. And then that gives me to here. And then I want to see what we got from there. There we go. Good eye, though, D Mayor. Arwen's going to cure him right now. So we build temp shift plate out of ice. The ice is actually at negative 18. As you can see, 800 kilograms. That's a lot of water. And then, boom. This is going to immediately get cold. And then the water that's cold spills down. And then the meal lice, it's growing again. Just like that. All right, now to save it, you just have to mop up the uh, shearing station. Now it's too cold. Feels bad. So it'll, it'll warm up. No worries. It'll warm up. It's fine. It's fine. We just got to mop it up and everything's going to be okay. Oh, they don't even need mopping anymore. Okay, this one might. So it's getting a little, a little warm. The Dracos are eating it though. Touching the water. All good. Oh, and you're not getting burned. What a stud. Esme. You are not getting hurt. I'm impressed. I guess it is CO2. And the heat transfer on CO2 is really bad. Oh, she was getting hurt. Took four damage. That's not that bad. Alright, we need to move more cold energy into here. 100%. Nice. So we're good again. So... I use temp shift plate, resets the temperature. Really good. That will survive for another like 50 cycles before we need more ice. So I can't be mad about that. So this part, I could just mine then, right? And then we just kind of have this exposed, spilling out CO2. I wouldn't really be mad about that. And then we could just jump this way to go in. Can you describe the automation in Draco Ranch? There is no automation outside of the Critter Trap. So in both rooms, it's the same, whether it's the top room or in the bottom room. The only difference is the evolution chamber is on the left or evolution chamber is on the right. That's really the only difference. And what you need to do is Control how many Drekos you want in this room, and then control the Critter Trap drop-off so that... Oh, did we never actually set this up? Ah. Because that's 8 out of 8, yeah. Uh, we'll do it like that on a 5. So, uh, the automation is very simple. The only thing that are automated are the critter sensors here and here. This critter sensor controls how many Dregos are inside this box. So in that case, I want eight Dregos in here, including eggs, so that we get a way of getting plastic every three cycles, right? So effectively, the Dregos are going to regrow their scales in hydrogen. This room specifically is always hydrogen. So this room is up to you how many Dregos you want. I want eight, right? And then once you have eight Drekos, the rail skips this and goes to here instead. Effectively making it so that, oh, dude. Oh, this doesn't actually do anything to them. No, this was a bad design. I'm sorry, Dreko, you gotta go. You gotta move the glossy out this way. Take him out, take him out. Oh, he's fighting back. All right, there we go. So that's what this critter sensor does. This one connects to the critter trap. If this room has less than eight critters, that's what this is set up. 
less than A. We trigger the trap and then we move the Dreco out so that this room is always maxed out. Right now we're just waiting for the eggs to hatch for that to happen again. So the top room is the same design, it's just, you know, the evolution chamber is different. Technically this is the wrong design. I need to put a door there and then uh, let the eggs fall in, just like this design does. I messed that one up. Alright, we're home! Nice! They made it back. And we need to make sure they don't refill the fridge. That's going to be uh, not good. But yeah, hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions, D-Mayor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Uh, it is fine, actually. It is fine. Yeah, we'll get pumping like that. So that's the goal, anyways. All right, we'll have to re-mop this. We'll mop again. You know, messed up this. I mopped once so that we could mop again. God damn it. All right, it's going to stop. Drip some more water back on top. All right, we could mop this now. Theoretically, we're going to stagger. For best results. And then we want this to slowly just leak out the heat and dissipate. All right, how are we over here? Are we idle? No, they're working. Nice. Oh, we never sent the coal over. Yeah, that's fine. 95, 55. And then we are waiting for everything to kind of work. So we gotta just let them build. So construction, this is gonna be the most important. Still shipping, still running. Okay. Okay. Oh, spilled on the side again. Too much liquid. All right, all good. All right, nice. So now I probably want to bop this. That way they don't get stuck. Probably do it this way too. Mine from this side, mine from that side. And yeah, this part is hot. That's the thing about this that kind of sucks. This side has been soaking up the heat. It's still pretty warm though. If anything, I would love some more. Oh. No, this area got too hot. Aw, oh, snap. My mealwood's dying. Uh, my ice machine has been slow. We only have about 13 kilograms right now. Uh, we could try to use this with the cold water loop like we did last time. We could try to do that with the cold water loop like we did last time. that and like that and then we got to do this so the meal lice is a little bit too high i don't have ice so we're gonna have to drip the cold water we have right here which is okay that's that's way more than enough oh and then i don't need this i'd rather have all the cold water come out here and then the spawns healthy All right, so I'm going to cut this. We're going to cut that. And we're going to store this water again, like we originally did. Because there's too much water going into the spawn. All right, clean. Bop this. Actually, we could do that. If you were standing up here to mine this, you could mine it from the get-go. So that should be safe. I feel like I should be taking damage here. Like, she should be taking damage because it should be too hot. Oh, 97. Alright, we could mine that. The water is not going to spill anymore, though. Hmm. Ice would be amazing. Can we mop this? Too much liquid on this side. That's unfortunate. I would want to mop that up. 
Oh, uh, I guess we could try to do this strat. Oh no, it would be... No, that wouldn't work. I would have to spill it. Spilling is so bad though. We should not spill it. Alright, we will do a meme strat right here. It should be on this side. Glossy Dracos are top tier, man. Really good critters. I'm a fan of them. Really nice source of plastic. Alright, so now we do this, push this water up, and then we mop that layer. It probably just spills out, though. Alright, now we get rid of that. And then we should be able to just mop this layer now. And it'll just move back the water automatically. Nice. Can't complain. We're doing okay on that side. Just trim that, trim that. Get the water to spill, but that's okay. Oil sweets. We're gonna have to move that to here soon. Okay, so back to this design. Okay, so... We can't reach that. Four tile gap is here. Let's use Ignis. This is just normal spacing that we would, uh, you know, kind of just portion out like that normally. I guess we should do that and then put the tile underneath. Hopefully that helps out with some of the cooling. Okay, so we're going to run two aqua tuners in here. This is going to be 10 wide. We're going to run one aqua tuner, likely to be going up into the Dreco Ranch, so that we could control the temperature in here without using ice going forward. That's going to mean we're going to want something like this. Uh, this tile, that tile, and then it's going to be like that. It's very likely to go like this then, and then I would need a ladder to reach. And then it's most likely to go out this way. Yeah, that should be an easy setup for now. Two of that in here, and then this is going to be a wall. We'll have liquid, and then this is going to be a vacuum. Then the next thing we're going to have is... This is not going to be a part of anything. So what makes the most sense is if this is the water room. So let's do it like that. The water room is where you effectively want your reservoirs. We can put two up here, but I think it's one, two, because we use the middle space for shutoffs. And then we know we want two. And then we want the wall here hugging it to probably be the meta refinery. So that would mean tile. But it doesn't really matter for these to be insulated. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't. And then we would need to run the oil inside. Alright, so copper pipes. Dang, we don't really have better than that, huh? Uh, we should bring back the aluminum. Oh, the aluminum was too strong last time. That is going to be better, but we're running two steam turbines. Alright, we'll just use copper. That probably works out in our favor at the end of the day. Alright, we know that's probably gonna happen. Uh, let's cut this pipe. Let's empty out all the water here, and then we're gonna remove the pipeline. Let's get that to here. Alright. There is another thing that I'm thinking. I might want this to be insulated tile so I could run a pipeline along that side. <laughs> that would be a lot easier to manage for radiant pipe cooling if I do it that way. I would have to move this off a tile because then I need 10 tiles for the two steam turbines. Which honestly, wouldn't it be that big of a deal? 
All right, let's do that. Why bother vacuuming the turbine room? Technically, I guess we don't need to. It just makes it more uh, calculation friendly, less lag. In the grand scheme of things, though, that is only a small section, so it's not like we're going to be saving a lot of frames or anything like that. But I guess in this case, since it's going to be surrounded both sides, there's no real point of having that be in a vacuum. I guess the only thing is just making sure we don't have CO2 in there to slow down heat transfer. Actually, that wouldn't matter if we just put a layer of water down there, realistically. So that's probably fine. Oh, that probably means this is wrong. And we go with this design. Ooh, I like that. And that also means this is likely a vacuum. Yeah, so we have to insulate this because we need to keep the heat inside. And then, can you put reservoirs down here? Oh, you can't. This is better then. I would rather have my reservoirs down here than anywhere else. Which means, technically, we don't need that. And we could... Can I actually put that here? No, it's actually four tall. Okay, never mind. Then we do need the metal refinery here. That's okay. The insulated wall here makes a lot of sense. I guess we'll put it back. And then we could just keep the reservoirs here. That That's going to be a lot more space efficient. Would this just be a floating vacuum? This room has to be a vacuum. For the meta refinery, I mean the, the reservoir trick to work. That has to be a vacuum. So I guess it comes down to what do we need to use that space for? Uh, we know we're going to need this. And then have we been making steel? We have not. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, I want to use this water, I believe from this water source. And this is jammed again, yeah, classic. And then that could feed in so that we could run it into the steam room again, if we have to. We could also just dump the water on this side, which is most likely what's gonna happen. All right, we're gonna want that. Wait for that. So we will have two aqua tuners in this room. What res trick needs a vacuum? Uh, if you put a liquid reservoir... Oh, I never actually connected that. That's what I need to do right now. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I forgot about this. Uh, when a reservoir is in a vacuum, it could actually hold liquids outside of the overheat temperature. If you don't have it in a vacuum, eventually the building gets hot enough that it starts overheating. It's gonna be slow. Uh, slow process, but if you put it in a vacuum, it never happens. So it's to allow me to hold 400 degree oil. <laughs> that's 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 what I'm trying to do. I wouldn't be able to hold it even with steel red, so that's 275. So I need to use this trick in order to kind of uh, circumvent the overheat threshold. Yeah, it's an it's, uh, interesting strat. I like using it. Now, in a normal steel res, you could actually get away with that without using the trick. It's just that with the trick, it's a permanent solution. Whereas if you don't use the trick, it's going to eventually heat it up. That's, that's really the only difference. The reservoir doesn't have like good heat transfer properties with the content inside, right? That's just kind of like, you know, fundamentally, that's just how it is. Oh, I can't reach that. All right, we got to remove this just to clean it up. Okay, let's build this out of copper because we don't have to worry about this. We'll just do it uh, with a one space gap in between. I guess we could also just move the reservoir to the bottom. And this could just be a random room. Technically, yeah. And we just do this.
technically that works. Move the meta refinery to here. This just becomes a random room with a door set up. If anything, we could technically just put a liquid lock here, but we probably don't want that. Yeah, I guess we could do that. And then that would mean meta refinery here, which is okay. This is gonna be igneous for the plus 15. This is gonna be as close to the wall as possible. All right, so now we gotta do this. Intake always comes from the output. So it's gonna be here, right? And then the output always goes back inside. Ah, we're gonna go with this setup because I'm gonna put a radiant pipe here to cool it down on this tile. That makes the most sense, I think. All right, so this is cold, and that means hot needs to go into here. We never heat exchange. Wait. Is this correct? That means when we do heat check... Why does this feel wrong? Why does this feel wrong? It has to be here? That doesn't fit. I guess we could move this in. Like that. And then one, two, three. Oh, that works. Oh. It's this way. And then we go like that. And then you run a thermal check here. This doesn't matter, we use lead. We do that setup, right? And then we make it so that if this goes in like that. I guess we could also go like that. We want to bridge in here. Because you don't want to yield. This is always going to come out. So we're always just going to run it through the cooling system. And then from there, we got to run it in through the radiant pipe. I don't think that's correct. I think we're going to do it like this. Well, vacuum is better. And then we do that. And we run that. Because I think we're going to need this space for the aqua tuners. So we'll use the left side aqua tuner to do the turbine on the inside. I think that's what we're going to want. So utilities, AQ. It's likely to be like this, I think. We're going to have to run the normal shape in coming out one two one two wait no one two three four five one two three four five that's correct technically we could do that and then it's probably not going to matter too much to have that or not though so we probably just don't need it and then the pipeline would go like this and then the setup with that would be kind of awkward Ah, it's here. Because I want to run one, two, three, down. We get a vent line there. And then it's likely this goes up and over. This is the second vent line. Because if you do, th oh, it's far left. Okay, that means this goes like that. Okay, which is fine. And then we get the vent on that side. So the middle doesn't have cooling, which is fine. We cool on the sides. Looks wrong, white to white. No, right, uh, white to white's fine. This is what you know uh, have known as a overflow. But that is correct. That is correct. So how that works right here is the same thing as what happens here. That's how I know it corrects. I made it already. <laughs> 
All right, so that's going to be from the steam turbines. All right, far right, far right. So this goes here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. So radiant pipe, radiant pipe. So that goes first. And then we cool down the Dreckle box. After the Dreckle box cools down, I want to cool down the metal refinery. Oh, I see how this is a problem. Oh, so I'm going to go back in a weird setup. Okay, so it's like this. And then I need a ladder here. And then most likely it's going to be a design like that. Like that. And then I know that I want a radiant pipe here. So the problem with that is this pipeline and then for me to go in here i have to bridge i don't like that uh yeah i don't want to bridge i don't want to bridge Pull it down in, bridge out, and then we would just hug inside. Bam, 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 bam. Straight down. That would work. That would work. Dang, I don't like that though. That's fine. And then it goes directly down to that. And we get a thermal pipe sensor. Copper. And then we want lead automation wires. That should be... Oh! This is not good. Okay. That's actually not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just realized that. Because I'm running that through the area that I want to run my radiant pipe through. So I do have to go underneath. Alright, that's fine. I can live with that. And that's going to be our local loop. Oh, you mean liquid container. Same thing. This is what you known as a overflow setup. So because it's overflow that it's like that. It's the same concept. So if this doesn't allow it through, it goes to the second one. So again, it's just uh, same mechanic. Just uh, looks kind of weird. What you can't do is output to output because that's exhaust to exhaust. The intake to intake is basically a consumer. So if the first one can't consume it, the second one can. But the thing with the double exhaust is that they're both dumping gas. But if there's nothing to consume it, nothing happens, right? It doesn't even move in the pipeline. Whereas the intake to intake allows that to move within the pipeline still. All right, so that's going to be a first AQ. We're going to run a second one. Uh, the problem with this is... I don't know what I would use this Aqua Tuner for. Maybe we just need one. Because I don't, I don't need to cool anything, right? Actively. We have one here. We get cold water from that. It's chill. We'll go for one. I think it'll be fine. And then we could have most of this in the pipeline as well. Or... Oh, wow. I could do this. Ultimate Spaghetti Madness. Wow. All right, boys, ultimate spaghetti time. We're going to hit him with unnecessary bridges. Guess we do the same thing here. Just to make it look more convoluted than it needs to be. You guys ever do the memes just for, for, just for the memes? Wait, bam, bam, and then bam, bam.
bam, and then bam, bam, bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. That fits. That fits. All right. So this is a closed loop setup. We control the Dreckle box. We cool down the meta refinery heat generation and the steam turbines. And that's going to be the aqua tuner. And then we're going to run a radiant pipeline here. Uh, starting from the right side. So this is wide. Uh, I guess we don't need temp shift plates. We just run the pipes inside. Temp shift plates would be really nice though. Oh, okay. I have to end at the top. That has to be how that works, because we're going to probably do this. And then in like that, which means this pipe comes from the bottom. And then we need to output here as our first tile. So this going to here makes sense, so that we could heat up the water that drops. Oh, all the way up. Ah, and then it doesn't work. Okay. Wait. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Wait, wait. Down, 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 down. Ooh. It works. Oh, it's auto save lag. That's basically the pipeline design. There we go. And then that goes in. Now, I don't like this, because I don't want to go underneath like that. Oh, I think that last part, though, it's necessary. So we do this, and then we do that, and then this pulls down before going over. Yeah. No temp shift plates. No temp shift plates, huh? Yeah, we'll run a no temp shift plate build because of the double teams uh, steam turbine. And then the only big problem is there's nothing here. I guess that's not a problem. Alright, just to hide the pipe segment. Now we're waiting. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's gonna be for the meta refinery. Some of the water was good enough, but we need more. Alright. Let's get some cold water, boys. 20 degrees, so that the uh, meal was gonna be fine. We have a lot of food for now, but uh, yeah, I should try to fix this. Looks like the dirt that we're feeding it is really hot. Alright, alright. Water's coming out. There we go. Come on, Mealwoods. Y'all got it. Uh, since that spills in... We should probably... Oh, we could do that. Uh, let's try to do this. So that spills in that way. Uh, I guess it's like this. That's a little bit better. There we go. So that spills that way. And then this should get cooled. I see. It's like that. Okay. There we go. Now it's cooling. This is a really weird kind of like cascading cooling effect. But it makes sense. Cold water drips. Eventually everything gets cooled. Hypothermia? Aw, snap. Oh, we never sent the coal over. But everything's built. Okay. So we do that because we do need that connected. And then back to here, we need to sweep the coal. So this is going to be closed. We're going to do a 
empty coal. Let it sweep. All right, good. This is chillin'. The meal was about to be fine soon. We should set that up and we'll be done. Food is doing all right. We're actually stockpiling barbecue. Nice, nice, nice. Don't need to sweep that. Still building this. All right, should be great. This area got taken care of. Dude, sweeping this is gonna be a fun time. And it looks like, yeah, I think we're safe here. So we could actually just get rid of this. Cause it's not hot anymore. And we could just cut through this like that. Nice. The bottom's still kind of warm, but it's been leaking out for a long time. But this is a good amount of space, man. We could actually start using it now. That means this is my down. And then I should try to probably spill out the oil. That's going to flood one of the buildings, I think. All right. The build, uh, the plants are not getting flooded. That's great. And then all we have to do is make sure that it keeps cool. Good news, bad news. We could pump up the water. Bad news is that this is stacking up to a thousand. Uh, let's see. Fifty-six. I'll sacrifice this. We need to make a sacrifice, boys. All right. And then we have oxygen on that tile, unfortunately. Uh, can we do this? So what we're going to be doing right now is going to be adding in the copper so that the oxygen here could leave. Dude, 15 kgs. Someone's eardrums are going to get popped. It's going to be fine though, right? Oh, I was going to say 2,000. I got scared for a second. All right, everything's going to be good. Let's cut the water for now. Let whatever we have left for me. And 1x speed for a clean swap. Oh, we got water spilling. Uh, that was supposed to be a clean swap. Did the game lie to me, man? What happened? That was supposed to be clean? Was I lagging that much? But that's no longer considered a clean swap. Oh, I could just let the water spill down that way into this area. That's so good. Dude, that's actually so good. I should just mine this tile. And then do that, do that. Actually, those should be airflow. And then just let the water spill again. Uh, that probably means this. Yeah, and then we can actually spill out this water because it's really cold. I mean, it's above 25, around 25. But yeah, the bottom down here is like 70 degrees, 80 degrees. That's probably really good for us. Add something, soak it up. Oh, we're going to lose a uh, joyous seed though. Feels bad. Alright, so the water is going to even out. Oh, we could just do this tile. All right, we're gonna let this kind of sit. Actually, no, the warm water is not letting the cold water cool it down more than it needs to. So we should remove this. And then it's gonna fill up in here. Yo man, can we get some deconstruction dupes? Anyone? Nice. Good stuff, boys, we just made a shower. All right, so the water is going to spill down to there. We're going to use that as a means of cooling. And then we're going to need power here. So 1,200 watts. We'll put this as well. Uh, we'll likely have to generate power here separately. One, two, three. And then I'll pull that out. Because that's going to be a power generation setup. And then this is going to need another power consumer. All right, so we know that this setup is going to generate a lot of power. 
we know that this setup's going to generate a lot of power. Hmm, how do we do this then? Uh, let's see. I know that this is going to generate a good amount of power. But then it's like, I would need to hold the batteries somewhere. Oh! Have that be the final segment of the radiant pipe? And have that below? Vacuum battery set? That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we could probably try to do something like that then. It makes a lot of sense. Gotta go to sleep. Have a good one, you pick. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us. And yo, man, rest well. Rest easy. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. But of course, appreciate you coming out, Mr. Yupik. Yo, man, this is doing good. Still getting items. How are we over here? No one's idle. That's good. Looks like the coals are doing fine. I could try to automate that with a sweeper. I think we'll probably just move the uh, coal there on a job. And then we need to connect the wire right here. Nice. So that's water from there. Oh, this is done. We could mop this up as well. And then we're going to bottle empty that there. We're going to mop up the water elsewhere too. Just so that we can clean up the water everywhere. This is done. Power line. We just leave it there. And then that's all the regular water we'll have. I guess this. But that's melted ice. That's not really going to matter. That's going to bop the bees. Feels bad. Oh, and this is ready. Alright, so I need to set up the automation here. This was a buffer gate. And then the automation was like that, that, and then we needed this outside. And then we needed this. This is going to be a switch. I guess if that's going to be where that is, this is going to be a timer right here. And then we'll have a third door once we're ready. Save the bees! Yo, man, the bees are going to attack me though, man. I don't know if it's worth it. Would you save something that's aggressively trying to fight you? <laughs> it's like, yo, man, I'm trying to save you. And then he's like, yo, man, get away from my hive. And he's like, you know what, man? I'm just going to let him. <laughs> I'm just going to let him, you know. It happens, man. It happens. All right, the Slicksters. Have you ever had a cat? Yo, you know what? I have had cats. And I will say that before I had Mamba, I was like, cats are kind of alright. But after having Mamba, like an actual cat that loves me, like, yo man, having a cat's awesome, dude. <laughs> I'ma be real. I'ma be completely honest, man. Before it was like, cats are just like, yeah, we're gonna do our thing. And it kind of sucks. But then it's like, after you learn a couple things about cats, their personalities, characteristics, things they like to do, don't like to do. And you start understanding it a little bit, it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> but I feel you with that. Mamba doesn't do a lot of the annoying things cats do. He doesn't knock things over. He's kind of weird. He doesn't like boxes. He doesn't care about boxes. Like, he'll see a box, he's like, okay, there's a box. And it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if, if that's Mamba or is just, you know. The boxes are just not as nice. They've been skimping on the box quality. Something that's trying to get you? Yo, man. Never know about that. You might be right, though. He's probably an alien in the form of a cat, then. <laughs> Have you seen that? There's an anime with that as the preference. Not an alien. It's, it's an alien from another planet. But he ends up trying to take over the world. But before he takes over the world, he wants to scout out the world. He wants to see what the world's about. So he he lives his life undercover as a human. However, his day job is being an evil villain. So it's basically imagine Dr. Evil, right? Actually had hair. 
And like when he's being Dr. Evil and fighting, uh, you know, uh, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Austin Powers. So like when he's fighting Austin Powers, he looks like Dr. Evil. In the anime, he has days off and he goes to the zoo and he's like, wow, these pandas are cute. <laughs> and he's obsessed with the pandas. And then the funny thing is, is that he will run into the equivalent of the Power Rangers. It's five basically people that have a Power Ranger suit. They do the transformation scene and all that. And it's like the same red, blue, green, yellow, pink colors. And it, it's funny. You, it's, it's anime slice of life. So you get to see them interact with the evil villain when he's not being the evil villain. It's actually kind of interesting. It's, it's a lot of just like, you know, casual watching though, I will say. But yeah, he's an alien from another planet and he's thinking about taking over the world. And then the pandas were so cute, it stopped him. There was one day he got really mad. He was about to blow up Earth. And then they announced, oh my God, there has just been a baby panda born. You guys got to stop by tomorrow at the zoo, check out the babies. And he's like, oh snap, no way. And he forgot all about the things that got him mad. <laughs> it's so random, man. But I'm not gonna lie, it has been entertaining. Do you see the energy? This right here is greenish. That dropping down to here, you could see that it's orange in between, but it's greenish over here. I need to cool this down. All right, so we stopped, right? Yeah, we stopped adding water, so it should be okay. This is, oh, it needs a little bit of love right here. Uh, how hot is this? 53 degrees. This is water inside, 53. Oh, I could do iron. Oh, no way. Do 25 of that, and we'll just dump the heat. That goes that way, goes into here. 56. 109, yeah, that's way too hot. So we just can't make steel. We can make anything else. Oh, aluminum might be actually pretty good to do. If a baby panda could stop the world from being destroyed, what can Mamba do besides make me feel warm and fuzzy inside? I don't know, man. The problem with Mamba is that he has to do this thing where he has to kind of give you the okay. So you kind of have to be interviewed by Mamba. He's going to have to get your SAT scores. If you took the uh, MCAT recently, that's actually better. He would actually request that instead. But it's a process, man. To understand the benefits. Got to sign up and all that. I see you over there, Geek. Welcome in. Alright, so everything should be fine. How is the planet? Is this safe? Alright. Three digit micrograms. And there's only two element combinations left. We're actually close. We're actually really close. So next stream, we'll probably be able to tame this. And then Roverman, he's immortal until we end stream today. So this is Cobalt. That's not what we're looking for. Copper. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. I was hoping to have the metal volcanoes vertically above each other like this so that we could combine the tamer. But it doesn't look like we'd be able to do that on this one. I'm looking for iron specifically. I guess the only other strat is if the iron's below us. Because the thing is, is that I want the iron for the uh, volcano. I mean, uh, for the steel. What am I saying? I want the iron volcano at school. Damn it, man. Natty gas. We had some water spill. Dude, man, where's the iron? I know this is a large map. I guess they're going to put it on that thought. All right. Looks like we're going to have to go here. From here, we could go through the water. Yeah, we could go through this way as well. Alright, so we'll go like this. Uh, all the mud's gonna collapse on me. I guess we could do that. And then the water spills back. And then from there, I want to be here. 
the mud doesn't fall. We jump across, jump up, go down. And then that's three, 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 three. I don't want to open up the slugs because they're going to start eating the metal. We'll just go this way to see what's on the sun. That should cause any problems unless the mud bops them. Either way, I did put a dig on it, so it should be fine. Oh, there's a mud tile on there. Alright, that should be okay. Water's still spilling. We did get the steel, and they're doing it now. Nice. Alright, so we should be good. This should be easily mined. Aw, snap. Can we mine this tile so that they can't jump up anymore? Oh, nice. They have to jump down for all of this. Nice. Alright, the energy is being held. 50 degrees. Cooling out the map. Let's go. This is a little warm though at 70. And then we will try to push this back. Right, so four tile gap is here. And then I want this to be a weird power setup. Uh, if that's the case, we could do that. All right, so the only spot we could climb up is from here to here. So we'll do it to there. So they have to build everything from underneath. That should be fine. And we'll put batteries here to hold the power we generate. That should be okay. I'll also try to work the ladder through. This also is a short ladder. It's not the main ladder. That's always good to have. Alright. We should probably try to melt this. It's probably not worth it though. Wait for that, and then we have the steel. Okay, so is there anything I need for this design for next time? We could try to prepare right now. We have the power. Lead's already there. We're going to need a lot more. Igneous rock for insulated tiles. Steel for the aqua tuner. We're going to need... Oh! Oh, we have ice! Oh, man. oh dude, that's such a... Dude, that's going to be such a... I'm going to hate that. Yeah. We're going to have to make a seal so that if I drop the ice into the magma, I don't kill myself. <laughs> oh, Mama's awake. I hear you, babies. I think it's going to be time for us to wrap up soon, y'all. The babies makes us awake. He's going to be roaming now, doing his thing. Because the thing is, is that if we're moving ice and we're walking across the ladders and we drop it into the magma, we're going to get a lot of steam. And steam is like the worst gas known to man. So we probably are going to have to trim all the magma, spill it, and then do an insulated uh, layer right here. So that if we do drop the ice, it's not that big. Steam is horrible when it gets away. It is, man. It heats up. It holds so much energy. It's insane. It holds so much energy. And then it becomes hot water. That's even worse because it's like anything that's at, that's below 99 degrees is going to get to 99. Because water just holds so much energy. It's kind of insane. Guys, it is going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's stream. But of course, we are going to be wrapping up. We did do a lot of crossword today. So if you guys were expecting longer Oni times, I'm sorry, man. We, we cut into that with a couple of crosswords. How do you measure liquids? Uh, measure liquids. Uh, let the lore. I can answer that right now. What's the question? What do you mean by measure liquids? Answering is going to be easier for me to do it live, so let me let me answer that right now. So guys, let's get that saving.